The Sesh Podcast, episode 166, take one. Hello, Cupids, and hello, Stupids, and welcome back to the Sesh Podcast. Well, love that. That's all that could come to my brain Are you today. stupid or are you Cupid? Well... Or maybe you're stupid. I'm a little stupid today, not gonna lie. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. Is it mean to call them stupids? I didn't mean that. We say that in an endearing way yeah, in our family. We do. We call our dogs and uh, pets in general stupids. Yeah. Um, and not an insult to them. They're just so cute and just stupid. Little stupid. You guys are just little stupid. Well, and then sometimes <laughs> I just say, you pids. You still pids. I call them stoops. Stoops. Stoops, stoops and pids. The stoops. No, it's an endearing term. And maybe you're just so stupidly in love. That's because right. it's the uh, Valentine's season. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's been in my head the last few days, that song. Stupid Cupid, stop Not picking on me. Free, free, free. He set me free. Is that how it goes? Stupid Cupid? I think so. I actually only know that song from Princess Diaries. Remember that scene? Yes. When she's like that. singing on the beach. Princess Diaries made me have scene. an anxiety yes. attack in the theater and I oh. cried. Which part? The one where she's like going to stab the guy with a knife. Wait, I'm <laughs> I'm forgetting that part. <laughs> I think stab the guy with a knife. I'm pretty sure in the Princess Diaries. Oh, pr- during the dinner when he's they're like slow dancing and she was like holding a knife. Is this the Anne Hathaway movie? Yes, yes, the Anne Hathaway movie. I don't think. I don't. That- I think. Oh, swear to God, she's gonna. Oh, I mean, this was on Disney Channel. Yeah, I remember my dad was like, "Let's go see a cute movie," and I already don't the like the Princess movies. Princess Diaries. Guy gets stabbed <laughs> with a knife. No, she didn't really do it. She was like thinking about doing it. Stab with a knife. <laughs> I don't remember this. Diaries oh, there is a knife. knife scene. Oh, no. That's showing other movies. Man said on the set. Man stabbed on the set of Anne no, Hathaway's new film. No. Did I just literally. I feel like you're this getting up? this confused because that would have not been Disney Channel friendly. I remember so clearly with Anne Hathaway, we were in the movie theater and there was a scary scene where she was standing. They were like slow dancing. She was in a white ball ground and she she was like hugging him and she had a knife in her hand. And she was like. <laughs> Are you thinking of the Cinderella movie? She, Anne Hathaway's not in that one. Cinderella story. <laughs> I don't knife. recall that in Princess Diaries. Knife story. Knife scene. I'm looking it up. There's nothing. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything about that. Let us know in the comments if you know what Janelle's wow, talking about. That is so. That is one of my core memories in life, and I can't find it. Anyways, well, anyway, happy yeah. week of love to you all. Although. Oh, yeah. This episode's going live on Valentine's Day. So happy yeah. Valentine's Day, you guys. Happy Valentine's Day, We love Day, you all so much. We do. Kendall's sporting her pink Valentine's shirt. Yes, I had to wear a little pink. I have a little heart uh, paw print shirt. I like that. And these girly pops don't don't have any love to give, apparently. No, they have <laughs> no love to give. Damn. Mm-hmm. You have lots of love to give. You do. What? Tell us, ladies. What's What are we drinking today? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. This was so kind mocktail. of you guys. We have a mocktail. Give it a stir so everyone can see the cheers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's glitter in here. Ooh, um, what else is in here? I so, love a glittery drink. We've got mint, mm. cucumber, mm. strawberries, mm-hmm. and it's like a Topo Chico mint. Ooh, non alcoholic mm. seltzer and some pineapple. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm not gonna lie, I would easily just do mocktails the rest of my life oh yeah it's so much better yeah you're not an alcohol tasting. really uh-uh, i don't really like it that much which by the way none of us are pregnant yeah i was gonna say <laughs> is- let's nip that in the bud <laughs> yep. it's just it's just in before the noon bud. yep and we're not really it's a monday morning yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. where no no pregnancy no one's pregnant we gotta work for the rest of the day yeah mm. but we still want to find drinks so thank you guys so much for making that of course we love, we love you we love you we love you seriously so love much. You guys so much. Much. love you guys are the best you are. Um, how was your guys' weekends? You know, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Watched the Super Bowl. Watched Usher. Oh, yeah. Now, I will say. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. A lot of people <laughs> were hating on the yeah. half show. Oh. I was living my best hating life. Hating on Same. Usher? Yes. Like, a lot of people. Not hating. Usher, baby. Yes. Usher, baby. Why? Curly, Curly said it was I. I said it's I. I? Yeah. yeah. Just I? Okay. I'm just saying. He's like, okay. <laughs> It just his moves were killing me. Like he was doing this little like air hump thing, like a lot. <laughs> it was sexy. He's sexy. Don't you think he's high? He's forty. He's forty five. Oh, yeah, forty five. We're all pregnant after that performance. True yeah. that. So I'm the only one that's saved. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yeah. 
I thought it was incredible. He's 45. I thought, okay, I I was fucking up and dancing. They brought out little John, Ludi. Mm. That was to me the best Super Bowl since yeah. Eminem and Wow, really? Everyone I Yeah. Agree. That was yeah. that was way better than you know Rihanna's one, last year. In you know my which opinion. one tops it for me? Is La uh Lady Gaga. Lady okay. Gaga's Yeah, well that it. was years, years before that. I was saying since the one with Eminem. I can't remember who else was out. Like a Snoop bunch Dogg. of rappers. Yeah, Snoop was out there. That oh. was that was a great one. I remember mm-hmm. really enjoying that. That was 2022. Mm-hmm. Who mm-hmm. else came also, out? It hasn't been that long. So just <laughs> since Dude, Rihanna. We didn't like <laughs> the Rihanna one. We love Rihanna. Love Rihanna. Didn't like the plot. was a little boring. So it was Luda, Chris came out. Luda, 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 Chris. Luda, <laughs> Luda, Chris. Luda, Chris. Luda, Chris. <laughs> and then Will I Am came out, right? I oh, love yeah, Luda. Yes. Yeah. I love Luda. I was so excited to see Luda. Will I Am. Uh, Lil John. Did I see yeah, CeeLo Green? I kept, I was texting no. you guys and I was like, is no, that no, CeeLo? No. Okay, no. Okay, I, <laughs> I thought I saw CeeLo I thought, Green. Okay, I thought I saw, See, I, don't know um, I thought I saw CeeLo Green. I thought I saw Northwest. I thought I, I saw. I swear it was Northwest. <laughs> Someone says that they thought that that, whoever it that was, was, was CeeLo Green on Ozempic. <laughs> like, is that Ozempic <laughs> CeeLo? Oh my God. I just typed in CeeLo Green. The first thing that comes up is what happened to CeeLo Green's career. No. I, I love CeeLo Green. I don't know I love CeeLo. F- like, what is he saying? Hit me. Uh, crazy. That mean I'm crazy. What? I thought that was or like uh, fuck you. But, yeah, fuck you. Wait, Ooh. riding round town with, with the girl I love, and I'm like, like fuck you. Ooh, 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 ooh. You said forget you. <laughs> no, no, he said fuck that's you. That's, that's, that's the radio, radio version. version. So I was like, singing the radio. He said a big old <laughs> fuck you. Is what CeeLo <laughs> <Yeah>. said. <laughs> I thought I thought one of you said forget you. No, I did. Oh, okay. cuz I was singing the radio version. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. I love I thought it was Cee-Lo. great. Yeah, it was really good. Usher is very impressive for his age. I was so into it. I was having a great All time. All the songs me and Holly were dancing. It was great. Okay, I thought it was the great. stage. Oh, Alicia Keys. Oh, yes. Lovely. That's what I was saying. Okay. I thought that it was really weird. Okay. I know that, where you're going with this. Yeah, that Okay, Alicia Keys, love her, stand her. She's beautiful. She's a goddess. She's gorgeous. She's everything. Um mm-hmm. I just thought the way that um Usher baby was dancing on her was a little too I much. I thought they were together. I thought they were together. I thought was like, wait, are they married? No. No, no, no. They're just putting on a performance, you guys. They're yeah. not the first ones in history to do it. You got to do it up. Gotta I know, sell but like, the it music. Was like, she was like kind of like walking away from him. She was kind of like, I thought she was like leaning him. into I think it. She was like, oh, I feel. They Usher. probably agreed upon it ahead of time. They do rehearsals. Mm-hmm. This doesn't feel like it was part of the rehearsal. Mm. Well, maybe you're right. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. Well, I really liked it. I was having a grand time. I was time. into it. And the game was exciting. Oh, oh really? The game was exciting. It was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like <laughs> down to the wire. No, I watched it. I just thought I was... I was so bored. I was so bored. It went to like, over the 49ers time. would win. Me too. I was yeah. pulling for the Niners. I didn't really care either way, but I was kind of going for the Chiefs because most a ton of my family members are Chiefs fans. And my I just thought, was. And I just thought it was such a coincidence that they tied it up to go to overtime. And then mm. all of a sudden, the Chiefs won. Hmm. Not scripted. Okay. Oh, there's some big conspiracies about the NFL right now. My dad was telling me about it. Like, there's tons of people that think that the Chief that it was all rigged for the Chiefs to win so that Taylor Swift can have her moment. Uh, okay. <laughs> if wow. that's really what society did, I'm going to be really pissed off, to be honest. If okay. that was the truth, we have no hope in life. Breaking no. news last night. Breaking news yesterday was when she arrived. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It was funny. Like, she has made it. She's made it. What do we think about um, Travis Kelsey slamming into uh, oh, Andy Reid? That yeah. was wild. Not slam, pushing his ass, pushing his ass, Travis and elder screaming at him. Yeah, yeah, that was that was not a good look. No, that um, was not good. Like, dude, people kept being like, if that was Tom Brady doing that to Belichick, his oh, ass, like he'd be on the ground. Any, anyone doing that to Belichick, his ass, they would have been cut and benched. I wonder. Uh, I mean, I definitely lean towards the side of like that looked aggressive, but yeah. maybe it was like a. Let's go. Well, he claims he was like, oh, unless that he basically said something along the lines of unless the um, that was mic'd and the audio gets released. I was just telling him that how much I love him. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, uh-huh. uh-huh. Okay. He was embarrassed because his girlfriend is watching, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You were saying maybe that'll be the end of she's going to be like, no proposal. You pushed an old man. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. We're done. You let me down. Now I'm on the ground. No ring to be found. Mm. I thought honestly, I really thought because they won that he was going to go onto the, the stadium and onto the stadium floor and like <laughs> propose to, to Taylor Swift. So obnoxious. Oh, it would have been, but like a par for the course. Yeah. Well, I gotta say, and no hate to the Swifties or to Taylor. You guys know, like I I love Taylor Swift. I 
I wouldn't say I'm a Swifty per she se, fun. but I like her music and, you know, whatever. But it's getting really annoying. The mm-hmm. constant cuts to her, the slow motion reaction, every play. <laughs> like, come on. And I'm sure it's annoying to her, too. Yeah. I'm sure she's like, fucking stop. Like, yeah. she, if I were her, I'd be like, wearing a bag over my head and hiding during I wouldn't even want to be there it's so annoying we didn't see any cuts of Brittany Mahomes Mahomes? no I saw like maybe (laughs) one of her but yeah no one cares about her reaction she's did you guys see she did Sports Illustrated Uh uh-huh oh did she oh wow Mm -hmm. also did you guys see that she had Blake Lively Lana Del Rey and Ice Spice with her Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah, I'm sure they're all like let's all get our moment here exactly a huge PR moment for all of them Mm -hmm. mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah, um, I I will say it's kind of funny that there is so many people that are like the Taylor Swift curse. The Chiefs are sucking because of her, and then they go on to win. So mm-hmm. sucking, yeah. Oh, like at first, they, yeah, they were having a rough time. Yeah, like they, as soon as she first started, the, you know, mm-hmm. it came out that they were dating. That was fun. It, to he watch. was like kind of struggling. And, I was enjoying that. Um, they were losing at first. They really sucked in the first half of the game. Yeah. Um, and then they came back. To Mahomes her. is insane like he's good. very very like good. i'm not gonna lie the dude, kermit, the dude kermit, kermit the frog kermit the frog i like think why why do so people cool. call him that because his looks voice and sounds like yeah. it. have you ever heard him talk no right? he sounds no. like this mm-hmm. <laughs> he sounds like a muppet he sounds like this okay i okay so th- throughout the entire game i had to keep on asking my friend i'm like okay so it's not kelsey it's not kelsey mahomes his name's not Kelsey Mahomes. No, his name is Travis Kelsey, and then there's Patrick Mahomes. Yep, I kept on getting those two players. Kelsey Mahomes. (laughs) (laughs) I think I might have said that at some point last night. My friends were like, uh... Don't say that. Don't say that. (laughs) No, 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 no. Oh, I can't find the TikTok, whatever. And then they went out, and then Travis and Kelsey, or Travis and... (laughs) Taylor (laughs) Taylor went out. They went clubbing last night, too. Mm -hmm. Did they? Yeah. Mm. Oh, look at this. So cute. Aww. I will say it was very, it was, they look very in love. It was a cute moment at the end. They're cute. They're a cute couple. I just always feel so bad for the other team. God damn. Oh like, I just oh get God. so heartbroken for them. Look at how sad. It's so sad. And then their also, moms. Ugh. Well, also, because like, I mean, they were shooing for the win. Dude, yeah. The fact and that then, they missed that extra point after they mm-hmm. got a touchdown, that was it. Yeah. That came down to, yep. I was so upset. Oh, uh, you know what really got me too? I started actually tearing up seeing. Um, I can't remember his name. His player on the Chiefs who caught the game-winning ball, Hardman or Hartman? Or, oh yeah, yeah. Um, don't know. I don't know. But his mom. Oh my God, she looked so proud. It like uh, really got me. It was very cute. It was very cute. Anyway, enough football talk. This, this is not is a sports show now. <laughs> this is now <laughs> sports sesh. Uh, what are we going to be doing today? Well, today we wanted to celebrate love, but also talk about how much love sometimes can suck. That's right. That's true. And so. We're gonna be doing a little bit of Am I the Assholes? Yes. We're gonna end with that. We haven't done Am I the Asshole in a bit. You guys love it. We love it. This it's is always fun. Valentine's um themed. Yes. Valentine's Day edition of Am I the Asshole. As well as a spicy topic mm-hmm. of something that has been going viral on the internet recently, and it is called the Blonde Eight Drama. Mm-hmm. Now, some of you may have heard about it, some of you may have not. And it's it is quite very interesting. interesting. The new year for many people means resolutions to save money, so stop shopping without getting anything in return. Start getting cash back on every purchase you make with Ibotta. Ibotta is a free app that gives you the most cash back every time you shop on hundreds of items, from groceries to beauty supplies to toys. The average Ibotta user earns $145 per year. That could cover the cost of an entire shopping trip, buy a flight that you've been eyeing, the game you've been dying to go to, or the fancy dinner you've been craving. With iBought it, it's so easy to use. You just add your offers into the app, you upload your receipt, and get real cash that you can cash out to your bank account, PayPal, or through gift cards. So join the over 50 million savers and earn cash back every time you shop from over 2,700 brands and retailers, including Lowe's, Macy's, Sephora, Best Buy, and more. And right now, Ibotta is offering our listeners $5 just for trying Ibotta by using the code SESH when you register. Just go to the App Store or Google Play Store and download the free Ibotta app to start earning cash back and use code SESH. That's I-B-O-T-T-A in the Google Play or App Store and use code SESH. Lots of thoughts on that, so we'll get into that. Should we, should we do that first? Um, I think first, we have... Carly has something that she would like to share with the class. Well, no, yeah, it's are like you a- ready? 
I, I think I am ready, but let's talk about the blonde eight first. You want to okay. do blonde eight? Okay. Yeah, okay. because okay. it does kind of tie into the whole thing. Yes. I, I was own... going to say, I think blonde eight could be a good okay. way to yeah. segue into okay. this. Yeah, okay. yeah. I had my own blonde eight incident. Yes. Um, Very recently. Yeah. And mm. I'm here to talk about it. Yeah. Carly's going to, we've kind of hinted about it in the past couple weeks that we've had this scandal going on. <laughs> literally scandal. <laughs> no, literally it's, it's, it's scandal. It's, it's the Denver scandal. Or what did I call it? A scandal. <laughs> The scandal is going on here. Oh my god! There's um, a scandal. Um, um, you guys were very curious about what it is. So Carly finally feels like she wants to talk about it today. And again, Carly, I just want to remind you: there is zero pressure to talk about this. True. I know you but can decide literally in five minutes that you don't want to talk about it. Hey, you could cut it out. You're the editor. That's true. You know, that's so, true. That's true. So if this makes it in there, yep, you're welcome. That's right. Um, no, but actually, I think that this could be like. I mean, I know a lot of people have been in the same situation too. This happens more frequently than I realize, especially right. like, yeah. with my history in dating. Like, I don't have very much experience in it because, like, my last relationship was seven years long. And that was, like, my first and last relationship. Mm -hmm. So I'm just a cautionary tale, I guess, you know? Yeah. I think people will relate to that. And I think maybe you'll find some comfort in the comments, too. Of like, yeah. Yeah. You know, I think all the support mm -hmm. will be really uplifting in that. It'll be kind of cathartic to talk about all of this. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, we'll leave some details out. And right. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm not using any real code names, names or anything. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. right. Yeah. Although, I'm not trying to dox anybody. Although part of me is like, we should do it. Oh. Send the seshies after him. People, some people be deserving that. Oh, and this 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 man deserves <laughs> This it. boy. Oh, he does. Boy. This he does. little boy. Had us all fooled. He had us, uh, he had us all fooled. I was a fan. He had all, I had all my friends, friends fooled. Yeah. Big bonus. He could have been. He could have been at the next Christmas party. Damn. Yeah, he could have. Yeah. Not Missed now. his chance. Missed now he won't chance. ever get to see us throw down. No, ever. Nope. He will never see that. Anyway. Blonde no. number eight. Blonde mm. number okay. eight. Blonde eight. Basically, the story starts off with this TikTok that comes out. And it's this girl in the, in the car and her boyfriend and best friend. Well, her, her best friend's taking the video in the back seat, And her boyfriend is outside of the car on the phone but the person you know like the contact his, shows up on his on the screen his bluetooth is connected to his mm -hmm. yeah, right to his phone. like a dumb fuck <laughs> yeah so basically mm -mm -mm -mm. the screen of the car says the contact name is just blonde and the number eight so this girl's name is kayla right kayla yes um and what's her tiktok handle let's give her tiktok a shout out to let me talking about it well I think we can just play it. No, oh, it'll, it'll show on it on there. the screen. I think so, okay. yeah. I'll read it once we see it. Yeah, let's let's just start by watching it. Okay. It is a uh, Kayla G21. There's multiple parts here, Kayla too. G21. This is, this is, and I got to say, I was really sus about this in incident in general. I still, still have a little bit of sus. I still kind of am. Because when I saw it, I was like, dang. Oh, when I first saw it, I thought it was fake for sure. Really? But then the more I saw the videos, I was like, hmm, maybe, uh, maybe. I don't know. You can't underestimate the internet. People be faking shit left and right, huh? you know? True. I thought it was real. All right, let's play it. Does he realize that we can see literally who he's talking to? I can't. Does that what say? Do I, what do I say? No, I'm so serious. What do I say? What is no, I'm, I'm no. actually going to throw up. This is disgusting. Yeah, so if you're listening, it's literally just them two in the car. He comes back in the car. No, that's my mom. You that's my mom. mom on the phone? Yeah. She says hi. What do you have your mom in your phone as? Mother. Well, he's like lying straight to her face. Yes, my mom in my phone is mother. So why were you just talking to Blonde 8? I have no idea what you're talking about. On your phone, you were talking to someone that said blonde eight. I was talking to my mother. Ooh. Do you I'm not punch know <laughs> that <laughs> your kidding. Bluetooth is connected to your car? I saw that you were talking to blonde eight. A literal picture showed up. You're not going to sit here and tell me you were talking to your mom. I know what your mom looks like. Baby, you're seeing things. Oh, no. hell no. <laughs> Are you gaslighting? See, that was what got me too. Is like his reaction seemed so staged to me because they're so dumb. Yeah, I don't know. Do you get like a little sus at all? Like that'd be great content, right? That's true. I mean, okay, if I got my shit on camera, I'd also be blasting it online. But yeah, what are the chances of getting that on camera? I know the girl happens to be in the back. 
I don't know. It's just his reaction to babe. You're seeing things like it's just he doesn't seem like actually nervous but at all. He also, seems like he's reading line. People people be lying like that. Yeah, to your no, I know, I know, I know. It's true. I'm not saying that I think it's fake 100. percent I'm on the lying. fence. People be lying straight to your face. So they get into they go to the house and he says it must have been a glitch on mm. Apple's side, a glitch in the <laughs> system. Glitch. Just said blonde the blonde for no reason. glitch. Everyone knows about that mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Happens to me all the time. So then Kayla <laughs> locks herself in a room and decides to give Blonde a call. So let's go ahead and uh, we get that. Call Apple and see why the numbers are getting switched around. They're not getting switched around. I'm actually just going to call Blonde if that's okay with you. Um, Did you and just talk to her about this? Are you serious? Don't talk to me. <laughs> come here, come here. We're locking the door, so. Kayla, can we just talk about this? Kayla. No. <laughs> See how his voice starts right at the beginning? This seems so staged to me. Um, who is this? I'm starting to lean the other way. This is Hannah. Who is this? This is Kayla. I just caught him lying about who this was to me on the phone. And the music I'm in the back. trying to figure out what's going on. He said that he was talking to his mom, but your name popped up. I've been dating him for literally years. <laughs> so he literally moved to Nashville with me. You guys live together? Yes. Oh my God. Are you sure? <coughs> yes. Why? Hmm. I don't know. I think it was a little weird how like right as they're going up the stairs his he starts with the we got to call apple and then they flip to the next scene and he starts it's almost like they were like okay right, go right, and right, then right, he's right. like i agree with you, i agree yeah with you. i it's think like, you it's have a good fake. point i don't know i'm just so so bad. she's beautiful love her outfit mm-hmm. she's a disney princess yes. why how long have you been oh seen she her? is mm-hmm. oh what's your job oh we're like pretty serious okay we moved here a couple of months ago. So how did he find you? What hinge, a bar, where? No, we went on hinge. Okay. So he was swiping as soon as he got here. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've never been to his place. So this kind of makes sense. You're his girlfriend, right? That's what you just said. Well, he actually lost that privilege to call me his girlfriend as of 10 minutes ago. <laughs> But yeah, we we were dating. We're not anymore. So I guess this is me letting you know now that he's all yours if you want him. I think I'm going to want this number. Ooh. In that case, if you want to meet up for brunch, let me know. <laughs> um, I would love to hear. I can't believe you've been dating for years. Honestly, I'm free tomorrow. Are you free? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to be offensive because if this is real, I feel so sad for her right of course and i don't mean to be questioning right right, but right. Like, we're in 2024 people be faking things mm-hmm. yeah. like everything with a grain of salt right i grain feel like salt. wouldn't i'd be really really upset I, like, yeah like i feel like she, i don't know but sometimes when you're enraged like that the emotions haven't set in i will say i was very calm well mm-hmm. until i wasn't <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Wait, yeah. <laughs> what does that even Wait, say? No, I'm so serious. Like, I don't you, know. like, I'm so serious. If you want to meet up, like, I, yes, absolutely. We can, we can be free. Does it say Applebee's? They're meeting at Applebee's? No, no, they, <laughs> they were meeting. They just they're gonna get brunch. Yeah, go. oh. Okay, so my best friend is living. Can she come too? She's literally recorded this whole thing. Down, down, bring her too. Okay, so that we'll seemed a little seat. authentic. And then we'll go yeah. out. As you should, Queen. You deserve so much better than him. We both do. And I'll see you. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. So he's just silently sitting out there. Nothing yeah. to say for himself. That's crazy. This is insane. Right. This is insane. This is not happening right now. Like this I'm shaking for you. Like I'm literally like after like, sh- like, my hands like this is crazy. The music is so That's dramatic. <laughs> my god. He said, update, we didn't get brunch together, but we did something better. And I don't but know if there's been any updates. There yet. hasn't been. I checked this morning and there's have been no updates. So that's, honestly, that also kind of makes me a little sus because there hasn't been any updates. Has she uploaded to her account since at all? No, she has uploaded to her account, but it's all been like 
like one of them, like I guess her sister got married or something. So it's all been like irrelevant to the situation. Okay. And people have been like at like obviously people have been right. like commenting like, hey, like hey, where's what would you guys get brunch? Like what's going on? Yeah. And there's been nothing. Can I ask what the rest of her account before this looked like? Does she look like she's trying to build a following? Or is it all for fun? And not saying that that's the ultimate evidence. You can right, be right, right, trying right. to build an account and then have Should something happen. like this happen. But like I I don't know. I'm curious. Am I? Is she trying to go viral in other ways before this? I'm trying to think what happens when you're on a Bluetooth call because she he clearly was using his like the the audio wasn't coming through the car. He switched it to his phone. You know when yeah. you're hooked up to the Bluetooth, you have to like decide where you want the speaker coming yeah. from. If you put it through your phone, does it still show up on your car? Sometimes it depends on the car because okay. um yeah, it just depends on the car because sometimes it will still have like the caller ID. But the audio will come through your phone. Sometimes uh, when you switch it, though, sometimes it just disconnects it all yeah, together. Because that's, that's what my car does. My car disconnects it all together. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I've seen like I've seen other cars that, that yeah, stay. mine will pop up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, the rest of her, the rest of her feed is very like, I mean, she's a she's like a Disney adult. Um. Okay. So. Like, it's very, like... You think it's, like, a acting, like, theatrical? Yeah, like, I mean, she's, like, obviously, like... I mean, she posts a lot, mm -hmm. but a lot of it is just, like, what she does for work. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm, ooh, mm -hmm. it feels weird to say. For work. <laughs> <laughs> um, and <laughs> her, like, hinge dates, girl code. Wait, her hinge dates? Well, like, the, there was one of them that said... But she's dating this dude. Oh. Ooh, ooh did we just find a... Let me see. Because she says she's been dating him for a few years, right? Yeah. Like she's unhinged. Like, I, ooh, she's with a friend. So I think it's probably her friend's hinge or something. She, mm -hmm. Her friend invited Hinge Ben over. Huh. Mm -hmm. The hingeman. <laughs> I just put a um, link in the outline for a TikTok on this guy who is analyzing her body language. I just mm. this. Mm. Let's take a look at what this fella has to say. All right. Wand 8. Is it real oh. or is it not? There's been a lot of videos about how it's not real, but nobody is smart enough to actually explain whether it's This man is smart enough, guys. He is <laughs> the smartest. What's his credentials? Oh, this is a 10-minute video, Let so we can just watch a little bit of it. With the expertise of body language and psychology. I made this video with the clip so I can make this a little bit bigger and better, but TikTok didn't like that. They said I was just taking content and not changing it at all. Their algorithm's garbage. So I'm going to do it this way by showing photos behind me and explaining it so that people can be educated. Listen, here's the deal. I am an expert in body language and psychology, okay? Do not try to detect deceit just on your own, okay? <laughs> Only if you're an expert. You, no sniffing out lies without no, that. Sorry. <laughs> you're not, even you're with not me, credible. Somebody that's known as a human lie detector by my girls, by my friends, by my coworkers my girl, my that have a nine to five job and my employees as the human lie detector. I'm only okay. We're going to accurate. forward. Yeah. I have elapsed before the video starts. So didn't just start right away. They started it at 53 seconds. Now, here's the issue with this, though. Knowing psychology, knowing a woman who gets faced with the information that her boyfriend of many years, as we learn out in the later on in the video, is cheating on her, it doesn't signify that there's enough time for her to process the information, go, oh my God, I'm being cheated on, and then make a very key decision. Make the key decision to tell her friend to start recording because this is the big decision. One, do I out him as cheating on me? Or do I hide the fact I'm being cheated on? Girls always have that part. That decision has to be made. So what he is saying is the call on the screen is only 53 seconds long. That, I agree, is totally sus. That I agree that with this expert. That within that seconds, seconds, <laughs> seconds, she was like, holy shit, I'm being cheated on. Get the camera. Get the camera. And he was on the phone with Blondie that quickly. Okay, what I'm like, why would you, first of all, why would you get out of the car to take a call? Right. Yeah. Like that's just weird in itself. Like, why couldn't she like crack open the door and listen? Yeah, and listen mm -hmm. to him. Yeah, mm -hmm. like roll down the window. Right. That is very suspiciously short. All right. What else does expert say? <laughs> we eye block when we're under extreme discomfort, and we do not like what we're seeing. In fact, it happens even when we're in the womb. <laughs> Babies will cover their eyes. 
when they hear loud noises. It's true, though. Now, with eye blocking, it doesn't block out the noise, obviously, and it, in this case, doesn't block out the fact she's already seen it. Because she's going like it this. is a limbic response of the brain, and this would point to it being real. This would point to the brain oh. being real. Next one. She might Same have thing with real. the lip pursing, too. But now we have here, grabbing the neck. This is another sign of distress and discomfort, okay? Women and men, too, will grab their necks when they're extremely stressed out. Or they'll play with the notch here. Women will play with the necklace as they're nervous. And yeah. then as they That's get more just like and more fidgeting, uncomfortable, though. they'll start yeah, grabbing you need it to be an expert to know this. or covering it. Okay? Hold on. Pause. I went to his profile <laughs> and I clicked on his Instagram. He says, I help six and seven figure business owners get the women of their dreams. Oh, no. No. That's what he's really an expert at. Six to seven figure business owners get women. <laughs> Guys, his uh, so bot get you sugar babies. Expert. His TikTok handle is Alpha Dom point one C. <laughs> oh, no, no. Alpha I can't be listening no. to Alpha Dom. No. <laughs> all right, I say we don't even. Oh, I, I think better. this guy's lost all his no. credibility. I'm sorry, <laughs> Alpha. Oh, Alpha oh, Dom. No. Alpha Dom. All right, no. bye bye, Alpha Dom. He has a website. <laughs> Alpha, Alpha Dom is considered the pinnacle of dating expertise at the age of 16. He realized his shortcomings in the dating realm, experiencing <laughs> oh friend God. zones and instances of infidelity. Stop. Rather than blaming women, he took a realistic approach and embarked on a quest to uncover the ultimate code to successful dating. <laughs> After extensive study and research into various dating methods, he isolated the code that generates immense attraction. Alpha Dom discovered how to oh weld God. power over women, wield power over women. Driving them to a state of obsession and making them oh. prioritize him above all else. Oh, I want to crawl on my skin with cringe. That is horrible. Look at his website, dude. Look at the big picture of himself in the front. Yeah. <laughs> Alpha <laughs> Dom. Is he navigate on the, the battlefield of love. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. What has he got? A sword oh. and a fucking like cape? Look at his um the video you, courses you can purchase. Oh, are you oh. tired of feeling like you're stuck in the friend zone, unable to attract the partners you desire? Ew. Do you want to become the confident, magnetic, and alpha no, version no, of yourself? No, no, no. <laughs> I wonder how much he charges. All right, we can't take his oh, fifty dollars a month. Forty nine ninety nine a month. Okay. Jeez. Okay. All right. Fine. Hey, never mind. Maybe then. my guy was taking some some lessons from Alpha Dom. Detection expert his bitches be lying to him so he's learned so he's learned it his girls his wow. girls trust him his guys his co-workers <laughs> his workers uh, everyone trusts him he's a human lie detector that is hilarious he calls himself a dating legend well <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. i don't care enough to hear the rest of his points but he did have a good first point about the 53 seconds that is a little sus i must say it's That's a little pretty quick i mean yeah i don't know but doesn't prove anything. So let us know what you guys think in the comments. And to Kayla, I hope you're well. If it is real, I'm very sorry. Sucks a lot. Sucks a lot. Sucks but you to know, the other girl too. And blonde eight. How many are there? One through. Where's one through At seven? Least eight. So I've been talking about it recently on the show, but in the last half of 2023, I broke out so bad. Like it's honestly insane. I've been looking at my before and afters from then to now, and it's honestly crazy. And it just totally killed my self-confidence, especially being on camera for a living. It was so hard to get on camera when I felt, you know, not confident about myself. It was painful. It was just a big insecurity of mine. And so I have finally, finally gotten my skin under control. And a huge part of that has been Apostrophe. Apostrophe is an online platform that connects you with an expert dermatology team to get customized acne treatment for your unique skin because as we know, everyone's skin is so different and needs different things. Through Apostrophe, you can get access to oral and topical medications that use clinically proven ingredients to help clear acne. Personally, I get my spironolactone and my tretinoin through Apostrophe and I love that it's so easy. I never run out because I'm on a subscription so, you know, it's always refilling for me. And I don't have to go to the dermatologist. I don't have to wait in line at the pharmacy. It's just so convenient. And I've had great results. Like I said, it's easy. You simply fill out an online consultation about your skin goals and medical history, then snap a few selfies and a dermatology provider will create a customized treatment plan just for you. And Apostrophe offers access to prescription treatments for all types of acne, from hormonal acne to facial acne, even back, chest, and butt acne. You can truly treat your breakouts from head to toe. And Apostrophe has a special deal for our audience. You can get your first visit for only $5 at apostrophe.com sesh when you use our code sesh. That's a savings of $15 and that code is only available 
available to our listeners. To get started, just go to apostrophe.com slash sesh, click get started, and then use our code sesh at sign up and you'll get your first visit for only $5. Thank you so much to Apostrophe for sponsoring this episode. If this is real, if this is fake, that's up to them. But this, what happened to me is not, it's 100% real. It is. And yeah, let's, should we get into it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so like, I don't know where to start. So, I mean, as you guys know, like I've dated people here and there. But like nothing serious. It's definitely it's more been like just like casual dating, getting to know people. But like nothing has ever been serious. I have never I haven't like caught feelings for anybody. I haven't been serious about anybody. Just having fun time. Just having a fun time. I'm getting to know myself. I'm getting to know what I want, what I need in person and getting to know myself. And it's been a very. It's been a learning. It's been a learning time for me. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm very like, I'm you know, out of everything that's happened, like, I guess let me just like preface this by saying I'm okay. Like I'm like I'm fine emotionally, physically. Like I'm fine. It just really sucks because you learn to trust somebody, and you you know you yeah. give yourself to somebody, and they take advantage of that, and they you know they they lie to your face, and they pretend like everything's fine, and like that, that's just I don't know. I just I I can't. I could never like fathom doing what was done to me to somebody else. You totally. know what I mean? Like. It's really an insane thing that happened. You know, it's like it's it really was like like it's, it's something out of. Yeah. And am I the asshole? Like, right. It really is. Yeah. And like, OK, so let me start by saying so I met this person. We're going to call him Noel. Noel. And oh, yeah. Okay. And me and Noel met on a dating site. And typically on this site, I don't like I typically wait for, to get likes and then like I'll go through my likes. I don't typically like a lot of it too is like I don't really have time to go like to sort through everyone and like send likes but this person had a picture of them and their cat i thought it was really cute sent him a like shot shot my shot shot my shit you know what i mean Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um you know he came back to me and he's like oh like you know we have a very similar vibe because i have a similar picture on my profile with my cat and cool whatever we had a little chit chat and then he was like he's like uh like let me see he's like i want to show you my cats can i get your snapchat and i was like yeah sure like that's pretty like innocent whatever um and so got the Snapchat. We started talking here and there. And it was like very like normal talk. Like, uh, how are you? Like, how are you? Day, whatever, like small talk. Mm-hmm. And then one day I was like, hey, like, let's I was like, I don't like doing this like back and forth chit chat. Yeah. Like, I don't have yeah. time for that. Like, we're all adults. Like, none of us really have time to like be on our phones all day and like text. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, let's just meet up. Like, let's just go on a date. Let's just go somewhere. Whatever. And he was like, oh, yeah. He's like, I really like that. You're forward in that way and i was like yeah like yeah i like i know what i want and whatever so i go on the state mind you i get there like 30 minutes 45 minutes late um because i was kind of nervous and like i wasn't really sure if i wanted to go and like i never stood somebody up but i thought about it for a second and i don't know why really um and so whatever i get there and i feel really bad because i'm late and whatever he's like fine with it whatever we get a couple drinks. We're talking. We're having a really great time. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we get some food. But like where we were at, it was like one big bar and then like a bunch of different food places. Yeah, yeah. And so we got in there kind of late. So everything was kind of closing down. So then we ended up going to just like a little local place and got some food. And then we went back to his house. And typically like I'm not one for going to like the person's house on the first date. Like sure. he was being really respectful. He wasn't like crossing any boundaries. Yeah whatever so i was like oh let, let's go so we go back to his house we're just talking or watching like a, like something in the background and it's a very like it's very respectful like kind of like on opposite sides of the couch kind of thing like mm. no touching like he's yeah, not yeah, trying yeah. to kiss me he's not trying to make any moves and i'm like wow like this is actually kind of different like the last few dates that i've had have always kind of been like rush 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 yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and so um yeah so then a couple of, like maybe like an hour later after we get there we eat whatever i'm like oh, yeah, like i'm gonna head home like it's getting kind of late i just want to go home and so he walks me down to my car. He's like, oh, can I kiss you? And I'm like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Like, that's such, that's so, that's such like a nice. Mature thing that's an, to yeah, ask. Exactly. Yeah. And so. I'm chivalry. Like, exactly. It's just very chivalrous. <laughs> and whatever. So then he gives me a kiss, whatever I go. And like, it was a very, just peck. It wasn't anything like no touching. Like, it was very innocent. Right. Mm-hmm. And so then. um, yeah, so we're talking for the next couple months, like I would say like a month, month and a half. And during this time, like we've hung out once or twice a week. Like either we go out to dinner, um, we go back to one of our places, we just hang out, like we're seeing each other like pretty. And you guys were talking like pretty much every day. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking like every single day. Like no. 
a lot every day. And um, like even even to one one time, like I was having a really bad day, like a really, really bad day. And I was like, I just don't want to be alone. I was like, can you come over? And he came over. He brought food like it was really sweet. Like he mm. cared. You know what I mean? Like it was yeah. like a real thing. And like at one point I told him, I was like, hey, like I am starting to get like some feelings for you. I've paused my profiles. Like mm-hmm. what like can we talk about? Can we like DTR? And what's that mean? Define the relationship. Oh, and um, ETR. Okay, and so I was like, he was like, he kind of gave me a weird answer. He was like, "Oh, uh, well." I also like brought it up at the wrong time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why are you laughing at me? Just because I know <laughs> I brought it up. Uh, I should have brought it up at a different time. Sure. Um, yeah, it was not the appropriate time to bring it up Just, in the situation that I was in. Right. Right. Okay. I see. Yeah, I see. And so I'm not laughing at you. I'm no, I know. I know you're not. No, I know. It's just a fun. It's I'm laugh. I laugh at myself about it, too. Um, and by that time, you had told us. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and I had knew it, about what's his name? No. Yeah. I was going off about Noel. Loved Noel. We thought yeah. I checked out his pictures. We were like, wow, he's getting like good, good vibes. Guy. Sounds like he has a nice job. Established. Nice. Yeah. No, he's yeah. treating you good. Yep. I was excited. Me, too. And like at this point, I'd gone over to his house. Didn't see any signs of anything like I like I noticed like he he uses really nice shampoo and conditioner and I was like but, oh hey. I was like mm, that's nice and he, I was like is that is that yours and he's like no it is mine I'm like okay it is actually it was actually his that okay. checked out okay okay, okay. okay. but okay. Yeah. the dude likes nice hair care mm-hmm. yeah he has beautiful hair yeah he does great set of head great set of great set of head <laughs> <laughs> for sure <laughs> so then I had mentioned it a couple times I was like there's a be- I was like there's kind of a flag that's, that's waving in my face and I told him I was like. It's weird to me that we only, like, I had his phone number and we had texted here and there, but we mo- mainly communicated through Snapchat, oh. which I even mentioned. I was like, I was like, this is a cheater's app. Mm-hmm. I was like, people cheat on Snapchat. Like, Ooh. why are we using Snapchat? Like, we're adults. I was like, yeah. I I was like, I can't go back and, like, read our messages. Like, I'm forgetful. Can you please move this to, like, text? text? And he's like, yeah, he's like, that, he's like, that's fine. And we did for a little bit. Mm-hmm. But then it went right back to Snapchat, like, mm-hmm. a day later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so... If you have a suspicion, your body's probably not wrong. Right. Like, yeah. Most of the time. Most of the time, you're not wrong. And I, he, he made a joke out of it. And I was like, whatever, like kind of just like pushing it off. And then um, really quick, didn't you say that he, when you guys would hang out, he put his phone on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was another thing, too. That was, that was kind of okay, a red flag. Okay. And I didn't mention this to him because like people can do w- whatever they want with their phones. You know what I mean? Yeah. This mm-hmm. was just kind of stuck out to me is every time we hung out, his phone was always on do not disturb. But he had his phone plugged in to his com- to his to his car. Usually like when you plug it into your car with Apple Pay, it has there's like a driving mode where you still get calls and stuff. Yeah. But he had it just on like do not disturb. OK. Hmm. And so, yeah. So, then, so that was another red flag to you. Yeah. You noticed that at the time. Yes. And like, again, like I was just kind of like, well, maybe it's like work stuff. Like he's always working. Like, yeah. oh, he was always working. Mm-hmm. That's another red flag. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. Um, and yeah, he like I said, he would like, you know, we'd hang out a lot. He'd come over to my place. I'd go to her place, like his place. Like we would, you know, he seemed like he was yeah. getting serious. You were catching feelings. I remember you were like almost going to spend Thanksgiving with him, but then you didn't. Was that because of him or? No. You... So that was, I was going to bring him back food from my oh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yes. And I was going to go see him, but I ended up not just because like I got back really late that day and whatever. Yeah. Like I ended up not, which I don't know if he would have been okay with that either because his yeah. girlfriend was over at his house on Thanksgiving. Oh my oh. God. Uh, wait, you're getting too far ahead. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, um, he kind of like played me thinking that we were getting serious. I was yeah. talking to him like I was like, I really like you. Like I was never like we weren't using any like like baby names or anything like we yeah, weren't yeah. using names or anything. But like I was getting to that point. And so then one day out of the blue, actually, I was here one day. You I, were? Was, I was here at work one this, this day. I just had this really weird feeling, really, really weird feeling. And there is this forum online um, where people just like post their experiences with like in the area that you're in with the people like with people that they're dating mm-hmm. and I had never looked anybody up that I was seeing on this forum um, just because like I it, to me it's like a little bit a little bit of like invasion of privacy and like I don't know like I don't want people looking me up in a way mm-hmm. I, mean, I think it's a little different but you know what I mean like I just yeah. don't want I don't know I just I don't I don't know I don't do what I don't want people to do to me sure. you know what I mean and so I got this feeling 
um, go on this whatever forum and search his name. And I'm like, you know, scrolling through, not seeing anything. And then I see his picture, his, his account. And somebody's like, oh, like, what's the tea on this person? And I'm like, <laughs> um, I look at it. And at first, like the original poster, it was just very normal. It was like, what's the tea? Like, has anybody dated him? Whatever. And so this other girl, Hannah, she is in the comments and she's like, wow, she's like, I've been dating him for, for a while now. And so then I respond back to Hannah. I was like, hey, can you please DM me? Because I'm also seeing him. So yeah, so then she, she DMs me and she's like, hey, like, what's up? And I was like, hey, what's up with you? Like, what's the tea? And she's like, so, you know, tells me the, you know, tells me their whole rundown. They've been dating for nine months. Um, nine months. Nine whole fucking months. Fucking nuts. Um, they are pretty serious. She's like super into him. Like she's like in love with this man. And I feel awful because I'm like, if I had known that he was with somebody, I would have never fucking like Obviously. approached him. Yeah. And I was like, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I was like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, no, it's not your fault. She's amazing. She's been great. Like we've been keeping contact and like, you know, she's she's really, really great. Um, and I just felt so bad because like she's like, you're not like the first girl. She's like, the, oh. you're like girl number three or four at oh this point. My God. So I'm like, what the fuck? You came what? into my office. Yes. And you were like, bro. I didn't. I was completely shook. Like I had no words. Like I didn't know what to say. Like I had no fucking words because like this guy on paper is amazing yeah he really is like everything like his personality yeah he's carrying everything yeah. like more it's than like the demeanor and ev yeah yeah like he was so sweet he was so comforting like yeah so yeah. just like reassuring you know mm -hmm. what i mean and i was like like i was like shaking like i couldn't like i couldn't focus anymore like i was like what the fuck is happening so then talking to hannah and she's telling me giving the rundown of their whole thing and whatever and come to find out there's another girl in let's say Vegas. And he's, oh, it was out of state. Yeah. He was a long distance relationship. Okay. Huh. And oh. he was dating this girl for over a year, leading her on. And she's like a couple years younger than like, she's a couple years younger than me. And he's a few years older than me. Right. Um, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like you're talking to, at this point you're talking, you have, Three, Ugh. like two full relationships, almost three full relationships with different people. God. And um, yeah. yeah. And one of them is a younger girl in Vegas who thinks that she's in love with you, who thinks that you're going to come visit her next week. Oh, my God. And little does she know that you're not, that you don't give a rat's ass about her. Because you're working. Because you're working. Because yeah. you're working. On something else. Mm -hmm. On other fucking women. Yeah. And the thing is, too, like... He would take us all out on like nice ass dates, but like Impressing. not love bomby, yeah. but yeah. just like 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 he took me out for my birthday. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah, like what's his, what's the point? What was the point? And like, like that's I what I, I want to know. It. What is the point? Like your ego is that fucking shot that you need love from three beautiful women. Like the other two girls are beautiful. They're so sweet. They're so fucking sweet. Trash. I think it's, it's human trash. It's so hard to understand the point of something like this. And I think if you're not the type of person would ever hurt people in this way, it's like hard to wrap your mind around. You know, there's so many different reasons people cheat. I think it's like a power thing. It's issues also, that it's go like, back to your childhood. That that sounds like so much work to be juggling yeah. these things. Like, what is the yeah, point like, of he's this? With girl, he's with Hannah and then Corelli's name pops up because she texts him what he's got to like fucking block your name for that point and then he goes to hang out with you he's got to block hannah's name. like exactly I think it's like the it's, thrill of it for some people i think it, i honestly think exhausting. that's exhausting that's what i was thinking too i'm like this guy's like too bored but like he was always complaining about having to like catch up on work and having to do these things and i'm like oh, yeah. well no you're catching up on your on your on your bitches i think it's like some men too and some women too some people like different flavors of people and they want to be able to go back and forth okay, between them. That is so they date be, right. a bunch of people at once. Yeah. And but they also okay. want the like the commitment and the loyalty that comes with it. And they don't want them is the power dynamic of not wanting the other person to be in other relationships and have them all to yourself. But then you get the option of being able to choose between them exactly. and insane. having variety. And the thing is too, like at the beginning, like when we, you know, when we first kind of like had the first like DTR like conversation, um, it was kind of like, let's kind of keep this casual. We'll check in. 
Yeah. We'll keep, we'll, you know, we'll check in. Of again. course. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, like, I'm okay with keeping it casual. Like, we can date casually. Like, I'm not talking to anybody else. Um, I was like, I'm not sure if you are, but like, if you are, like, maybe, you know, that's something that we need to talk about. Yeah. And what and do you say? Nothing. It was just never, it was never brought up again. Of course. And that's why kind would of, he bring it up again? Exactly. And like, every time I brought up, like, I brought up this conversation, like, before, like, the, having us, like, us having like, like a casual relationship. Yeah. I brought it up like three times. Yeah. I had to like pry it out of him to talk about. And I'm like, now looking back, I'm like, well, that's a red flag in itself. Like, yeah, sure. totally. Don't, like, honestly, like if you're getting into it, like if they don't want to talk about it, like if they if they wanted to, they would. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and if they and if they're you're at a spot and he's like, I'm not feeling that, then why is he not telling you that? Exactly. Yeah. Which obviously we know why he's not. But in general, it should be like, oh, yeah. I, I actually don't feel that way so that you're not like being led on and getting exactly. further down the road with this person and, and getting, you know, infatuated with them even more. Exactly. And of course, he would have the right to date multiple people and right. not disclose that if you n- have not agreed upon such things. However, he had these other relationships going where they're under the impression that they're the only one. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. And like when me and his now ex-girlfriend um, were talking, we we're like, well, She's like, I would have been if he wanted to keep it an open relationship. She's like, I would have been OK with that. Just like and I like again, like I just was the thrill of being just, sneaky. Exactly. And I'm like, you're that's just so how stressful. of a life Exactly. Like, oh, my God. Like you go over there right. and she goes over there. Then like, oh, uh, and come oh. to find out there was probably some nights that he left her to come to me. Oh, that oh is my God. That is so disgusting. Ash. Will you tell them what he did for work or no? You don't have to. I, think, least, I want to. I think I, it's the cherry on the cake. It doesn't, no, it doesn't it expose anything. It doesn't. You want to know what if he you is? Wa- if you want to. Only He's a divorce lawyer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Isn't that insane? Of course. And I asked him so many times because like, honestly, like I like picking people's brains, right? And I'm like, what, is, what are your thoughts? This is before anything, any of this like unfolded. I was like, what are your thoughts on love? Like, do you believe in marriage? Like, what are, like, what do you, what are your thoughts on relationships? Because you see the worst of the worst. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And he's like, well, it doesn't really like, it doesn't really like, you know, phase into like my personal life. Oh. Bull fucking shit, bro. <laughs> Bull fit. That's I learned a thing or two from his clients. Literally. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. So I guess the moral of the story is girls, gays, days. If you have that intuition feeling, like, don't ignore it. Like, I ignored it for a little while because like ignorance is bliss. Right. But it's not. It's really not. And like, again, like, I'm very thankful that I, I wasn't that invested. Yeah. And I stopped myself before I was really getting yeah. invested. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I the, the, like the other the other two girls that I know of that were in a long relationship with him can't say the same. Right. Yeah. And the other girls that he was leading on, like, who knows what they were feeling? You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. How and did you know um, how many others there are? Who knows how many others there are? How did you guys end it? This is really funny, too, actually. Um, this was before he knew that I knew anything. Like, me and this girl were keeping it, like, close to the chest. Right. He knows that we both know now. Um, but a couple days after I found out, I was like, hey, like, let's meet up. I was like, I want to talk about, I was like, I was like, do you like me? Like, do you want, do you see this going further? And, and at that point, you already knew. At this point, I already knew. Right. But he didn't know that I knew. Right. And I was like, can you please talk about it? Like, I just want to know where this is going. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste your time. Most importantly, mine. But um, he's like, yeah, let's meet up. So we went to a little brewery. We got drinks. We got a drink. And um, he was like, well, in text to pref- like before this, he was like, he's like, no, he's like, I really like you. Like, I can, you know, I just don't know, like, what I want right now. Like, I, but I do really want you and I want to be, Literally. I want you to be in my life. Okay, cool. So let's meet up. Let's talk. Before we, we, we went inside, we were in his car and I was like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? He's like, nothing. I was like, do you want to get brunch this Sunday? Like, in my head, I'm like, I'm planning, like, I'm planning something in the future. Yeah. But, like, I know what I'm going to say later on. You know what I mean? Right. So, I was like, okay, um, let's get, you know, let's do something this weekend. Let's get brunch. He's like, yeah, that sounds fun. Like, let's do it. So, then we go inside. We're having this talk. And he's like, you know, I'm just like, he's like, I really like you. But, like, I just don't have time for this. Like, I don't have time for a relationship. And I'm like, okay. I was like, so, tell me something. I was like, are you seeing other people? Because I've asked you that before. And, like, you said, like, basically no. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like. How many? And he's like, well, there's like one girl. <laughs> this guy is such a wolf. Lying in my Asshole. fucking eyes, dude. Like lying to my face. 
And at this point, I'm kind of like, I'm fed up. Like, I'm like my face, I'm starting to get really serious. Like, I can, t- like, I can feel my face, like, kind of, like, starting to, like, tense up and stuff. And oh, I kind of, like, wear my emotions on my, you know, like, I wear my, my emotions on my sleeve. Yeah. And I was, like, okay, so when were you going to mention this? And he's, like, well, I like to, he's, like, I, I like to think that I would have mentioned this at some point. And I'm, like, I like okay. to think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? literally. And I was, like, and I was, like, but you did it. And he's, like, well, thank you for bringing it up because it makes it easier to talk about. And I'm like, okay, cool. But if I have never, if, if I wouldn't have brought it up, we would, we would have never had this no. conversation. Yeah, no. Nope. And two, three months would have passed, and we would have been in the same, same. situation. Mm-hmm. And he was like, well, what did he? Say? I forgot what he said because honestly, a lot of it I kind of blacked out. Like I didn't like not. Yeah. Re- I just like was so upset that I was I didn't really like register what he was saying. Yeah, yeah. And um, he's like, well, I want to break it off with that other girl too. And I'm like, okay, but why? Like why now? Like, why? He's like, well, this is all just like too much. And I'm like, oh, it's, it's just now too much. Yeah. I was like, okay. I'm, I was like, I've told you my feelings from the beginning. I was like, I've been super communicative with you. Like, I've been telling you everything, like where I'm at. And I've given you that opportunity. I've asked you the same thing. And you lie to my face. Right. And. But that's how you left it for that day, right? Yes. So, like mm-hmm. you guys were just like, all right, we're done. Yes. So yeah. So then that day I was just kind of like, honestly, I was like, I don't see this going further either and we maybe we should just like cut it off here because yeah. i don't want to i was like i don't want like i don't want any of this fucking drama right 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 and then at the end he was like well you know like I, he's like well i still want to be your friend like i still want friends funny enough all his friends are his ex-girlfriends hmm. interesting how that works yeah and yeah so that's kind of how we left it and then fast forward to the weekend or two after um, I'm out with some friends and I'm drinking and I'm like, I'm going to call this motherfucker. I'm going to call him. <laughs> I'm going to call the fuck out of him. So I call the fuck out of him. I call him. <laughs> call the fuck out of him. And I'm like, I'm pissed. I'm so pissed. I haven't been this pissed in such a long time. You let him have it. Oh, I let him have it. He just I told it. him, I don't even want to repeat things that I That's said. That's okay. You don't need to. But like, he's scared of me. <laughs> He should be. He's scared of you. He's scared of all He's of us. He's scared of me. Yeah. Have you talked to him since? I have. You have? Mm-hmm. He reached out? Yes. And said what? He just casual like little things. Just like send me a picture of his cat or send. The what? Oh, yeah. No way. Yeah. On Snapchat? Yep. Oh dude, send God. him a picture of your shit in a toilet. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, fuck, dude. I don't want to. I don't want to. Exp- I don't want to expose my plan. I don't think this will ever get back to him, but <sighs> yeah, he's kind of, I don't know. I we've just, had like several plans in the works and then we've kind of. Sometimes I'm like, is it worth like your energy? It in a it's little not, bit. And it's not really worth my energy. Like, honestly, I just need to block him and move he on. He really life. is like, does he, what does he say? Like, hey, what's up? Basically, what like after he knows and you've Bro, confronted him. What a weirdo. What a he's like fucked up. Yeah. Well, like I sent him. God. Well, like I sent him a Snapchat once. Like this was. Of what? Of me. Oh. Because I just sent it to like, I just sent it to like my like oh. main four people because it's like yeah. three of my friends, like my closest friends. And he was one of the only people like outside of my three girlfriends. I haven't used Snapchat to talk to anybody since high school. Okay. Yeah, right. right. Like right. I, I use it with my girlfriends. Like right. we send each other stupid videos of each other. Like it's strictly like it strictly gets used for like mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. couple of friends. And I sent it to him. I just like wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing and sent it to him. And he was like, whatever, like, con- like complimenting me. And I'm like, okay. Absolute trash. No, he's a trash man. Um, Like a real trash man. He's a literal trash man. <laughs> he's a new job. Yeah, he's, yeah. He Works could, at the dump. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I guess, I don't know. That was my little eight, blonde eight story. Um, Well, Carly, I just want to say, like, first of all, I'm so heartbroken that you had to go through the ex- this experience. It no matter how long it's been or like how serious the relationship is it's so hurtful it's you know fucks with your trust of everyone going forward and puts you in such a bad headspace to be lied to by someone that you were starting to trust for a long time but i just want to like really drive home that even though you especially in hindsight can see these red flags that you did nothing wrong and you know obviously now you've you've learned to like trust your intuition more and more but like i think those are things that most people wouldn't jump to conclusions on because there's a million things when you're in a relationship that you could really extrapolate on and start getting 
you know, paranoid and worried about. And sometimes those things don't actually pan out. So I just hope you don't like hold yourself responsible for this no. guy at all. And you know? also when you're dating someone and you like them or just anyone that you have any sort of relationship with and you like them, you see the good in them. Of mm-hmm. course. You know, you don't want you're not over here. If he has this phone on, do not disturb. It's not like, oh, well, that means X, Y and Z. Yeah. You right. know? And I didn't think that like to begin with. And like, thank you. Thank you both for saying that. And like, honestly, at the very beginning, like I was really beating myself up about it. Like. I get that. I could have, you know, like, but yeah, how would you? You wouldn't have known, you know. And like, I just, yeah, like he's just a total fuck. Like, yeah. there's, there's no way for you to actually, you know, know, like a serial he cheater. So hard. He knows yeah. how to do this. He's learned over. He's probably been doing this a long time. Yeah, yeah. and, and he's that's probably thing, not going to stop. Honestly. And that's the thing that, no. like, honestly, like, definitely not. pisses me off the most too is that, like, he's not going to like. This isn't. I, I don't think I taught him anything. You know no. what I mean? Like, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't teach him any lessons. But like, like, you don't need to be. That's not, you you don't, he is not your project to fix. He needs to fix himself. Yeah. Aren't there, uh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm just going to say, aren't there websites out there where you can like post about someone and like warn other women? Yeah. That's how, that's how I found out. That's how she found it. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. So like, if you are honestly, like I recommend anybody who's like actively dating. Yeah. Look up your city, your state. um, And just like, are we dating the same so are you going to post about him? Because I, I don't know. I Probably don't you, know. I, would, but... I, I might. Um... Well, he's like, it's already on there since like there's comments. So if someone, if someone were to look him up, they would see like maybe add to it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. And like you can po- post anonymously and stuff. And honestly, like I really have thought about it because this guy's like newer to Denver too. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So like this isn't, he's not going to stop here. Like he's not going to stop. Is he no. broken up with both the other people, his actual like girlfriends? Um, yes, that I know of. Yes, I know the I know the the Vegas girl. She like blocked him like that day, and she says she hasn't had any Brown. contact with him. Can you talk about the the shower thing with the the heart in the shower? Yes, that was fucking crazy. Yeah. So this isn't my this and isn't, your welcome sign thing, or like oh yeah, those were if you want. Okay, so these two things. Um, the the welcome sign I had noticed, but again, like. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. I know that he was newer to the state. He had just moved in, like moved in like less than a year ago. Mm-hmm. And there was like this welcome writing on his on his mirror. And I didn't say anything about it because I'm like, oh, like his, I know his family came, you know, like it's also his family came to visit. Like, like what was it written on? It was it was written with like a chalk marker, but like on, on, his, mirror. on his mirror. So it was oh, like girly okay. handwriting. It was Yeah, it was like really pretty handwriting. And I'm like, oh, like maybe that's his sister or something. Right. Right. Fun to find out. Hannah mm-hmm. tells me that she wrote that. And Wasn't she like almost living with him? No, she was like almost living with him. And that's why, like, God, poor girl. Whenever I know, and I like honestly, like, she's she's a real one though. Like, she really is a real one. Um, she was cooking, cleaning. She was like basically Hooking his mother. Clean- damn and this guy's a damn he's, fool no he literally is did she and, not leave her stuff there like uh, well she did you did. ever see anything no i didn't i didn't i never saw anything i had like a bin in a closet yeah where you throws it all in before so you come to her. <laughs> yeah so i guess like stupid fuck her makeup bag was underneath the sink and obviously what am i going to do under the sink right, like right, 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 the yeah. bathroom like the bathroom like the sink was like shared almost with the uh, bedroom i hate and, this because like going forward i worry that and like i would be the same way but with other people you're going you probably will look under the sink next time yeah. you know like it's going to make you feel like paranoid. And totally. so many people have that experience where then you're like looking for yeah. the flaws. Well, something else that I've noticed too is like not be? now, like, I mean, with like every other person that I've talked to, like I'm, I bounce back extremely quickly. Yeah. Like I haven't, I haven't even like really, I don't, I'm not interested in anything right now. Like I'm just kind of like, yeah, good. I'm just, you know, I'm just, break. I'm, oh, I'm just kind of like, damn, like this person in some ways, like, I don't mean this in like a literal sense, but the feelings that I had during this whole situation was worse than the feelings that I had breaking up with my long term partner. You know what I mean? I yeah. get that though. I yeah. do too. Being lied he to. He played you out so hard. He yeah. lied to you. And this was the first person outside of your long term relationship that you somewhat had feelings with. And I think that in itself is a big deal yes. and then for him you know it, it'd be one thing if you if it just didn't work out and you guys ended it but like mm-hmm. for him to be dragging you on he's dating other people 
He's got chicks yeah. basically Left living right. with him. Yeah. And he's playing you out so hard. And and in your eyes, he was like a decent dude. He's a lawyer. Mm-hmm. He has a good job. Mm-hmm. He's a little bit older, maybe more mature, whatever. Yeah. So yeah. I get I get why you why that hurt as bad as it did. It's like a totally different type of pain, too. It is. Yeah. I can't compare. Like they're they're, they're not yeah, comparable, they're comparable, but like sure. just that level of trust was broken. Yeah. And I haven't had that level of trust broken. And maybe that's like my naivety, but like no, we were vulnerable so. too. Like you know, when you're both leaving a relationship, it's kind of a different vibe. But then, I yeah, I think just being blindsided, this person that like why it's almost crazy. Like why did he make so much an effort when he really right? Yeah, when it didn't it's matter. Like, why? So this is from Hannah. Um, she was cleaning his bed bathroom, like the good girlfriend God, that she is. That is so insane. And Poor there was thing. writing in the bathroom. Of his initials with a heart around it. Oh my god. She he did it for himself. <laughs> That's that was his excuse. Oh, Shut my, up. oh my god. Wait, he's like, I just love me. Wait, cause didn't she say, like, is this you? And you yeah, were like, she no. asked me, she asked me, and she's like, because she like things that she started noticing, she was like, Was this you? And I'm like, yes or no? Like, I don't remember. Uh, most of them were not me. Yeah. Ooh. Most of them were not me. Like there was like little things, like, I think if anything, like I might have left accidentally left like my bra there or something yeah yeah yeah. but like i'm sure he would have thrown that away you know what i mean right right, Right. right. um yeah because i don't actually know where that bra is that would make sense (laughs) actually (laughs) actually that was that one was me wait so she confronted him and was like what the fuck is this yes and this was before she knew of me or anything like this was before yeah this was before we knew about each other and that's how you guys figured out there was another girl right because it wasn't her it wasn't her it wasn't you yep and so it had to be someone else yep and it wasn't the vegas girl because she's long distance Whoa, what? crazy. Yeah. And like, there was just so many other things, like so Bro. many other little, like, like there was, she had found like a pin or something or like, um, she found an eyeliner in his car. Wasn't mine. Um, he's sloppy. Yeah. No, he got really sloppy. Stupid. Going back to what you said too, about like, again, I just want to make sure that, cause you said maybe it was my na- naivety. How do you say that? Naivety. I think Na- I say it. Whatever. Being naive is not, I mean, obviously, it can be used in a bad way, but in a relationship, that's just that's just called trusting someone, which is like, right. well, you, maybe you weren't in a full relationship, but having yeah. building trust with any type of person, it's not naive in any way, you know. It's I don't think you were being naive in any way. He wasn't giving you any like clear red flags. Like, yes, there were flags, but there weren't like just bold flags that yeah, that you're like, you were oh. ignoring. Yeah. Like, I don't see how you, I would have easily fallen for this too. I think most people would. Totally. You know? Another aspect of it too is like, he doesn't really have social media. And Uh, as far as you know. Well, no, I do. Like, I do know now. Okay. But like, they're not active. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you're doing this to cover yourself. Wow. You're doing this. Like, this is a whole fucking game to you. Like, this is, you have a game plan. Like, Totally. This is you do this on your free time. Yeah, you don't have time because you don't give yourself time. You're yeah. making yourself busy with all these relationships that aren't going to go anywhere. Yeah, and like he even talked about he even talked about like how he's getting older. He wants to settle down. <laughs> oh my god! What, what a, a joke. fucking free. Seriously though, fuck this guy. I hate his ass. God. Sorry that you have to Noel. deal with that, Corelli. You deserve so much better. You're an yeah. incredible. Much. You are smart. Beautiful, Such a catch. funny, interesting, interested, intelligent, mm-hmm. introspective person. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking for more. And no, kidding, you're but. fun and you deserve so much better. You deserve someone that's going to put yes. just as much in the relationship as you would. And that's going to love you and make you feel good. And, and not try to hurt your heart or feelings you know it makes me so yeah, mad me too Same. i want to beat his ass that person will eventually come one day you know and these are like the bumps in the road that you're going to look back yeah the broken road and in the description say, right? will be his number and address <laughs> <laughs> yes it will yes no, in a different no. in a different world yeah now we definitely well, had some thoughts of revenge plots we did but he's not going to stop no and it's basically yeah it's a waste of energy. It's not worth like, it. it is. It's not worth any of our time. It doesn't deserve especially yours. any more, yeah, of your time. Yeah. Thank you. Guys. No, like, and honestly, like, it is kind of liberating talking about this. Like, I mean, I've talked about it with you guys, obviously, but just knowing that, like, other people can relate to this and, like, I know how I felt during this. Like, I felt like an idiot. Like, I felt yeah. stupid. Like, 
I felt all the mm, worst things of myself. That makes me feel so sad that you felt that way about yourself. And like, I don't know, like, trash. It just, I mean, it's inevitable. Like, the, those feelings yeah. are going to come, you know what I mean? Of course and like, they are. That's what I'm sure so many people out there have experienced this and have like, felt yeah, the I same way. I saw a comment last week that basically, like, this girl was saying, I forgot, uh, I have to look up the comment, but she was saying that she had just found out that her boyfriend was of years was dating a bunch of other women, too. So it's like, yep. the fact that this is so relatable and the fact that it is men, mm-hmm. people in general think mm-hmm. that you're easy to take advantage of is like so it's yeah. such a fucking slap in the face you know what i mean so like, hard to even wrap your mind around. and it just tell and it says way more about them than it does to oh, you yeah he's mm-hmm. fucked up he's got issues probably gonna be lonely forever i said i told him on the phone i was like i hope his dick falls off <laughs> yeah deserved i hope it falls off amen to Get that gangrene 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 dick uh, yeah. gang, gang. Gang, gang. <laughs> <laughs> well carly thank you for sharing yeah thank we you, love Carly. you so much we do and Love anytime you, you want to open up, the Sessies are here to listen. Thank and of you, course, God. off camera, we're always here for you too. Yeah, I appreciate it a lot. Love you guys. Love, Love you, Love you. Love you so much. I know the comments will already be super sweet. So yeah, thanks in advance. And if you have any suggestions of ways to get back at him, let us know. <laughs> yeah. let us know. We actually did look into like sending him horse shit because you can do that. You can. I literally Googled what to send people when you hate them. <laughs> 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 what, and it was like, you can send people animal shit. You can send people like a box of glitter and they open it, it just glitter goes at fucking oh, everywhere. I feel like shit is worse though. Shit oh, and yeah. glitter. Do you both. can send them yeah. um there's like Glittered all kinds shit. of stuff. <laughs> like maybe we should sign him up for like a, yeah, or like a Jehovah's Witness like account. So like I still he gets think we need banned to like every week. Do a little revenge. No, oh and maybe oh, that's just me. It's in the pl- oh, it's in the works. It's okay, in the works. I don't want to like I don't want to like I, I want to hear the latest plan. Mm-hmm. I don't want to like divulge. No, much, no, 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 right, no, 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 no. Let's submit well, his number on like every single like, t- like, like spam call. Yeah, spam spam call. <laughs> get his email. Subscribe <sighs> 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 and to dox him. Oh, I'm gonna dox. I'm kidding. No, I'm not because that can come back to me. No, I know. No, no, no. We will keep it harmless. Is illegal. No one will suffer in any serious way other than having shit on their shoe. Maybe I really like the horseshit idea. I think we should do it. I'll send it. Well, anyway. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Thank you for sharing. Um, unfortunately, we are kind of running out of time here today. Today's a weird day. Charlie here has to get. An echocardiogram. Eh, He's got boy. a heart murmur. He's a heart murmur when he gets one once a year just to double check that it's okay. It's a little tough. Normally, we don't obviously like to schedule things on Mondays, but... His um cardiologist is only in the bed office once a month. Yeah. On Monday. I have to bring Holly to a... Um, Which sucks. Check up too. Also, it it's literally like took us a day. half hour to start because our mics were yeah. fucked. I don't it know. It took us what... almost an hour to start. We were having, like, Sydney's mic sounded like the exorcist yeah. over there. No, literally. It was bad. insane. It was well, scary. I know I think you got to go. I think we still, I can, I can stay for like another 10 minutes. Can minutes. you? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I'll keep going for a little bit until I got to bring Holly to her appointment. Yeah. Okay. So I want to do some do a few uh, uh, ATs. Okay. ATs. ATs. All right. Let's go. Let's go. So one of my favorite memories when I was growing up was when my mom set up a little experiment for me and my sister. And it was to, I'm sure a lot of you did this, but where you get carnations and then you put, you know, food dye in the water and the carnations suck up the color and they change color. And it was so fun. It was so cool at the time. And it's just such a great memory for me. And I'm so looking forward to when my daughter's a little older and we can do things like that. And I'm really looking forward to doing these projects through KiwiCo because KiwiCo delivers seriously fun learning for kids of all ages through hands-on projects and activities. Each month, kids receive crates packed with engaging hands-on activities designed to introduce them to exciting science, technology, and art concepts. There's always something new for kids to discover, like engineering robots or learning about the science of ice cream. KiwiCo is something for kids of all ages, ranging from infants to preschoolers to teens and beyond. And I've talked about it before, but we have really enjoyed all of the toys and things that we have gotten from KiwiCo for our daughter. Like I said, she's only a year and a half, so she's not doing projects yet, but they offer just really high quality toys. And I have learned that wooden toys are the way to go. I kind of used to judge people for the wooden toy thing. I thought it was like, 
maybe just aesthetics or maybe it was boring for kids to play with wooden toys, but I get it now. It does encourage imagination and my dogs don't chew them up like they do with their plastic toys. It can be really hard to find creative ways to keep your children engaged, challenged, and most importantly, off their screens. So KiwiCo does the legwork for you so you can spend quality time tackling these projects together. And like I said, there's something for kids of all ages and there's no commitment. You can pause or cancel at any time. And the best part of it all is watching their creative confidence grow as they tackle different challenges. That moment of pride and accomplishment at the end of a KiwiCo project sparks creative confidence for ongoing tinkering and experimentation. So redefine learning with play. Explore projects that build confidence and problem solving skills with KiwiCo. Get 50% off your first month on any crate line at KiwiCo.com with promo code SESH. That's 50% off your first month at KiwiCo, spelled like the fruit, K-I-W-I-C-O.com, promo code SESH. Am I the asshole for buying my roommate's pregnant girlfriend a pink nightie and giving it to her on Valentine's Day? Uh, okay. Ew, why did that sound <laughs> so gross? Because I weirded like... out already. Uh, <laughs> why are you biting someone else's girlfriend a nightie? A pregnant girlfriend. I'm a 26-year-old man and I recently bought pajamas for my roommate's pregnant girlfriend. His girlfriend is roughly seven months pregnant and just had a baby shower that I was not able to attend because of prior plans. I felt bad that I wasn't able to attend to give her uh, and the baby a gift. I knew Valentine's Day was coming up and thought it would be a nice gesture to give her the gifts on this special day. Along with the gift for the baby, I bought a pink nightie with lace trim that has a drawing of a baby sleeping on a cloud. Accompanied by the caption, shh, baby sleeping, I intended the nightie to be a cute and whimsical addition to the baby-related gifts. However, my seemingly innocent gesture took an unexpected turn when my friend slash roommate expressed that he was uncomfortable with my gift and said it was sexy lingerie. I tried to explain to him that the deep neckline was designed to facilitate breastfeeding as suggested by the store attendant. Oh my god, this is sad. My roommate was pissed about the gift uh, and said it was wrong to give her a gift on Valentine's Day and the gift being lingerie. I'm still confused. <laughs> I'm still confused about the whole situation because it's not lingerie, and I just wanted to give her something nice and helpful for when the baby is here. My roommate hasn't talked to me since, and it's been three months. Am I the ass? Oh, okay, okay. I think I'm gonna. Be the- I don't think he's an asshole. I, was, I don't think. He's I think an this ass- was an innocent mistake that could be interpreted very wrongly. I though. actually feel bad for the guy. I do too. Like it's or just totally this, clueless. Whatever this is. I can see. I think the the guy's being an asshole to not talk to him for three weeks. I think if you're three like months. really upset, three months. If you're really upset, like tell him like, "Hey, man, that was like kind of fucking weird. It was Valentine's Day, and it is like a night nighty." Like- yeah, but the <laughs> nighty also has a baby picture of a baby sleeping on a clown and says, Shh, "Baby sleeping." It's yeah, not yeah, like yeah. some fucking nipples out, yeah. like "fuck me now" type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally. kind of a weird gift, though. It is, it is a little weird, but I think it was harmless. I think he didn't mean any harm. Why on Valentine's Day though? Because he. Like, I think it's clear from his wording. Obviously, we don't know this dude, but I, I don't think I think he just had a clueless moment and didn't realize how like kind of weird that is. Um, I don't think he's an asshole. I, yeah, I kind of think the the other guy's an asshole for for not talking to him for three months. You can like make your point, right? And like you know, be like I didn't like this. I didn't appreciate it. And then or try says, to explain. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. And then maybe don't give. You know, you don't give. Uh, d- 90s. pajamas and nighties to yeah. people other, on other people's girlfriends that's and yeah. explain why what do you think i mean i don't know because like like i it's a weird gift to give like yeah. especially on valentine's like the implications even though like they're not the implications are kind of there but like i get it like i don't think he's necessarily the asshole but i just think that he didn't think it through. Yeah. Right, right, I think we right, got to right. give him credit for the fact that he did this because he missed the baby shower. So this was yeah. clearly a baby shower gift yeah. that he just yeah. happened to give her on Valentine's Day. And it was the, it was not like a Valentine's Day gift. Yeah, the right? just no, bad timing it's in bad general. Timing, but the, the nighty was meant for breastfeeding. Yeah. That's yeah. why I had the because it was I it mean, shouldn't be sexualized. Right. That's what I'm saying. I agree. So I think that the boyfriend is the asshole for sexualizing. I actually agree and making it a big deal and yeah. not talking to his roommate for three months. How yes. fucking awkward. Okay. Yes. I think we all agree. What do yeah. you Sydney, are you still on the fence? No, I, I don't think he's an asshole. All right. All right. Case closed. Not an asshole. I real that took a turn though. <laughs> yeah. I really thought I did too. Like I was judging it from yeah, the title. I was, I was like, majorly yay, judging it. Yay, yay. Okay. Next one. Am I the asshole for being upset with my boyfriend for not partaking in Valentine's Day? My boyfriend and I, ha- they're in their twenties. 
uh, have been together for almost three years. Our anniversary is at the beginning of March. In the past, we never really showed much care for Valentine's Day since it's become a largely capitalistic holiday, etc. But we always get each other a little something. Recently, there's been a little switch up in our careers. I make a little bit less than I used to, and he makes about the same amount, but has to work almost 50 hours a week. I was also recently in a car accident that left me without a car for a few days while it got fixed. It was in the shop from the 10th to the 15th of February. Um, And with the way our schedules were, it made sense that I drove his car to work uh, to drop him off at work, went to my work, and then picked him up after the end of the day. And Valentine's Day rolled around. I surprised him with a gift bag of all of his favorite snacks and drinks and a little card to his favorite restaurant. That's sweet. Oh, gift card. Um, He was happy with it, said thank you, and left to go shower. I shrugged it off thinking maybe he was just going to wait till tonight. I drove him to work and went to work myself. I got off work around lunchtime and decided to surprise him with something for lunch. When I showed up, he said thank you. And he said his boss was coming in soon, so I needed to leave. I left and waited for him to text call anything. He didn't talk to me all night. Even when I picked him up from work, he said hi, then started going through social media. When we got home, I had a movie date set with a heart-shaped pizza, mini red velvet cakes, drinks, and a pillow for it. He said, did you really leave the TV on the whole time you were gone? I suddenly became overwhelmed with anger and regret for even trying. I stormed off into the bedroom with the cake and my dog. Aww. He left me alone for over an hour, then texted me asking if I was mad or something. God, some men are just... You mad or something? <laughs> <laughs> I asked why he didn't get me anything for Valentine's Day, and he said, I thought you don't really care about Valentine's. I said, not a lot, but I was kind of expecting something. His excuse was that he didn't have his car the past week, so he never had the chance to. Yeah, I guess Amazon doesn't exist. I responded with, or Instacart, or Uber Eats, or anything. Mm -hmm. I responded with, if you wanted to, you would. And he called me a spoiled child and said, I ruined an already ruined (laughs) holiday. I was really mad at the moment. But it's a week later, and I'm wondering if I maybe overreacted and acted like a spoiled brat. Am I the asshole? Oh, my God. That's really sad. That's sad. Sounds like he gaslit you into thinking that you were in the wrong. Seriously. Yeah. Like, at the very least, I feel like he could have like said happy valentine's day i love you express some love like at least do something Dude. make her a little card at, at the very least P- take printer paper with Literally. a pen and write something on it like good god dude yeah. come on <laughs> fucking the fact nothing? that he's like a hey, mad or something yeah that's just oh that would make dummy. me yeah that's that's i think she needs to drop his ass like a yeah rounds for termination drop him <laughs> like a hot rock for sure rounds for termination <laughs> I, oh i meant grounds grounds, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. I say rounds? sorry i said rounds <laughs> grounds grounds for termination all right not we're deciding no, she's not an she's asshole. not the asshole he's an asshole terminated that would make me terminated that would seriously like break my heart yeah oh if my i God, have so like sad. a little pizza and a, and a pillow for it and, mm-hmm. and i take a Dog. lunch at work yes yeah oh, and he and they didn't and john did nothing i would be so yeah. sad i know and like didn't even acknowledge it yeah and it was like what you mad you mad bro <laughs> i thought yeah. you didn't like valentine's day <laughs> yeah josh and i have always been like under the impression or under the agreement that valentine's day is just like whatever it is like a totally commercial holiday and it's you should be showing your love all the time but we still do like some little gestures yeah and every year we tell each other don't get a cent don't get anything and we always get each other like a little something you know it's just like even just like take 10 minutes and look the person in their eyes yeah and and speak sweetly to them and say how much they mean to you yeah on behalf of (laughs) of saint valentine's (laughs) that's right saint he's a saint (laughs) <laughs> what? I was it's disrespectful. Kendall's mocktails getting her wasted. <laughs> uh, I agree. Well, he isn't. What is Saint Valentine's? I don't know. Isn't it? A- isn't it Cupid? No. <laughs> no, it's it's after Saint Valentine. I don't know. Who cares? I feel like we've gone over the history before. Okay. Sorry. It's like a saint. He's a Roman saint. Yeah. Thing. Okay. He loved love. Did he? Yeah. Uh, is I'm pretty sure it has to do with like violence. No, yeah. it entered the heart. No, it's. I think it's about like like killing people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's about yeah. violence uh, and death. Yeah, right. Exactly. All right. To Saint Valentine. Cheers, matey. Okay. Do you have time for one more? Yeah. 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 Just one more. Yeah. Am I the asshole for trying to spice things up for Valentine's Day? Me and my boyfriend have a pretty vanilla sex life. He likes to do the regular stuff he's mm-hmm. used to, but I want to switch it up sometimes. Get all missionary. That's right. <laughs> sometimes he does. But it's like, he's not really into it. So we just do the basic stuff. So I knew Valentine's Day was coming up in a couple of weeks and wanted to surprise my boyfriend by setting up a threesome with me and my, oh my friend God. for him. <laughs> Wait, this is awesome. She was down with it and she's leaving the city so we won't see her anymore. <laughs> so we could just forget about the whole thing. So I thought Valentine's Day comes and he surprised me with the whole 
flowers, gifts, food, clothes, yada, yada. The last thing he had planned for us was dinner, and it was amazing. We're heading back home, and I'm texting my friend, making sure uh, she set everything up and she's ready for us to come in. We get home, go in, and the room is set up so nice. Rose petals, Hennessy, and some weed. We played a drinking game and smoked, and then we were getting into it. Everything was good at first, but then they started getting way too, too into each other. He's flipping her over and doing tricks and putting his legs up and moaning and grunting while I'm doing, while I'm getting the bare minimum. She's over there moaning, going crazy, acting like it's the best D she's ever had in her life. Oh, no. (laughs) The whole situation just made me uncomfortable, so I ended up saying I was tired and went to bed. I woke up this morning to cook for all of us and realized my friend had already left. My boyfriend was sitting at the table looking very unhappy. I was so confused because he seemed like he was having the best time of his life last night. I asked him what was wrong and he said he felt blindsided about the whole thing and that he feels like I was trying to say our sex isn't good enough. I told him that I was confused because he definitely wasn't shying away from the whole thing. He then goes to blame the weed and liquor and said because he was so high and drunk, he was out of it the whole time, which is total bullshit. I was so pissed and had nothing to say, so I just left. I did all of this for him, and he 100% participated and seemed to enjoy it, but I know I was the one who set it up. Am I the asshole? <laughs> oh, boy. Am I the asshole for trying to spice things up? I don't think she's the asshole, per se. <laughs> I think that it just uh, backfired. <laughs> yeah, it big backfire. I think that... I think him being upset is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. That he's like, he ruined the night. <laughs> yeah. That's just so funny. I- well, it's, the wording is funny of it, but the fact that he's like flipping her around, legs <laughs> in the air, yeah. doing all these crazy things. And with her, she gets like the bare minimum. If I were her, I'd be like, excuse me. Yeah. I'd be why aren't you throwing her. me upside down, legs in the air? Yeah, yeah, why, yeah where has this why, been this whole time? Yeah, I want fucking legs in the air. <laughs> the hell, man. Spin me around like a ballerina. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I don't think she's an asshole for trying to set it up. Um, Although I think that's, well, teach your own. I, think it's I don't like, think it's an asshole, but I do think like maybe that's something you discuss before you just set I that agree. up as a surprise. Well, if that's like if you had never talked about it before and then just set it yeah. up, that's so weird. It's but maybe like they were talking about they want to do it. And like maybe, maybe they, he felt the need to like perform. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you know and the like, Hennessy and the weed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In I my think, opinion, like, is he able to fully give consent to this too? If they like, like, I think you could argue that you know, if there isn't like adequate time to talk about it and there's pressure under the moment and there's al- alcohol and drugs influence mm. i don't know he just like felt like he like what is he gonna do say no and then leave yeah but, like is that embarrassing to him yeah it probably would have been because he's a, like i mean there's like this huge stigma with men and sex i mean there's yeah stigma with you know both with, with all genders and right, sex, right, right, right. i can kind of see how he would maybe think like why did you set this up is right. it not good enough with right, me? right 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 i don't know but also the fact that he was like doing all these crazy things with this girl. Too. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, maybe again, maybe it was performative. But mm-hmm. I don't know. It's a tough one. I don't know if she's. I can't imagine having asshole, a threesome but... with one of my friends. Oh, my God. I can't. <laughs> Setting either. one up. Literally. Like a threesome with a yeah. rando. Maybe a yeah. threesome with one of your friends. Dude, I would lose my mind. With she was moving. Never... She was moving soon. They were never going to see her again. That's still that you have a history. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think he's the ass or I don't think she's the asshole. I don't I think, think it just backfired. Neither of them are an asshole, but I don't think this was a good idea. No, I agree. Bad idea. I, I agree. agree. No assholes to be had. Yeah, totally. Thank you. He had two of them. Yes. <laughs> so All right. Well, okay, Janelle's going to take off. I'm going to do a few on my own. It's been a pleasure, Jan. Thank you. As always. Love you guys. I don't know about you, but I am not the type of person that could sleep in silence. I always have to have some type of white background noise going on, but I don't like sleeping with the TV. And that is why I'm so obsessed with my Hatch Restore. The Hatch Restore is a device that teaches your body when it's time to sleep or wake up with nighttime and morning routines so you can prioritize rest. Hatch lets you customize your bedtime routine with a selection of light and audio cues. You can choose from meditations and ambient sleep sounds or let Hatch entertain you to sleep. And with Hatch Plus, you can access exclusive content like Pillow Talk, a new audio series designed to entertain you to sleep. Pillow Talk helps you wind down with the types of TV shows you love from true crime to sports, but the difference is there's no screens that can hurt healthy rest. I am the type of person that has to sleep in pitch black. So this is great because I still am able to get that audio relaxation without having to burn my eyeballs. And in the morning, Hatch wakes you gently with a sunrise alarm. 
You can set it so the light comes on first, and then your personalized alarm sound comes on 15 to 30 minutes later. 83% of customers report improved sleep. They have a 60-night money-back guarantee so you can try it yourself risk-free. Great sleep can be learned with Hatch, and right now Hatch is offering our listeners $20 off your purchase of the Hatch Restore and free shipping at hatch.co slash sesh. Visit hatch.co slash sesh to get $20 off and free shipping. That's such a good deal, you guys. Hatch.co slash sesh. You cannot put a price on good sleep. I'm telling you. God, finally Janelle's gone. Ugh. <laughs> Can't stand her. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I've been wanting my moment alone for a while. Time to shine. Yep. It's your time to shine. <laughs> Just shine. kidding. Shine brighter. I love my cousin so much. It's almost creepy. <laughs> All right. Would I be the asshole for bringing my daughter shopping on Valentine's Day because she didn't have a Valentine? My son isn't happy because of this. Let's find out. My 15-year-old female daughter, her and her boyfriend broke up a couple of days ago. My daughter is obviously pretty upset about it since they were going to be Valentines. And I've been comforting her about it since. Oh, dude. Heartbreak at 15. How are you excited to like go through Holly's heartbreaks later in life? Am I excited? No. Zero uh, percent. I got to say my biggest heartbreak was at 15. Really? Like, fucking destroyed me this guy like for a lo- for at least a year where I was Damn. just like I was like the most pain I ever felt. Oh, it was true love. This guy. God damn. He broke up with me right after his six, his sweet 16. He just got his license. Things were looking great for us. Damn, things were on the up and up. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. just like that, he he broke my heart. He broke my heart. Anyway, since my daughter told me her friends didn't have Valentine's either, I proposed the idea that maybe her and her friends could just hang out together. I offered to take them because I know these friends are really well. They're basically sisters to my daughter to the mall in L.A. since my husband and I are going to a restaurant for Valentine's Day anyway. Fast forward a couple hours and my daughter's parents are okay with it. Uh, I think her friend. Her, yeah, she must have meant her daughter's friend. the friend's parents are okay with it as long as they're back by 10 p.m. And I trust these girls. So I'm planning on leaving my daughter with a couple hundred dollars. Nice. For an Uber for her and her friends for their ride home mm, at 15. Damn. I don't know. Uber. That would make me really nervous. Cash Uber. for an Uber. Yeah, I don't. I just don't know if I would like Uber in L.A. Young, that's, I don't know. Anyway, that's besides the point. My son, 15 male, 14 male, isn't happy with this. He thinks it isn't fair since all the years he didn't have a Valentine except for this year. Um, I didn't do that for him. I think it's different though because my daughter had a falling out with her boyfriend, plus she's 15. That changes it all. All those other years my son is talking about was when there was no chance I'm sending a 12-year-old to the mall with his friends. My husband doesn't really care about this, so I'm asking for outside perspective. Well, do you think she's the asshole for taking her daughter out on a shopping spree and not ha- not including the son or giving anything well, to the son? No, I don't think so. I mean, maybe you could have in the p- past couple of years, like done something nice for him, maybe not done the exact same thing. But... Right. Well, also, I mean, he's 14 and he has a girlfriend. So like they're probably like his parents are probably going to pay for his dinner with his girlfriend. You know what I mean? Yeah. I so... just can't get over sending three 15 year old girls to the mall and giving them hundreds of dollars for an Uber. So, I, I mean, she didn't ask she was an asshole about that, but I think that's the problem here. Yeah. I mean, that's just LA's dangerous, a big fucking right? city. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. And like having. Why don't yeah. you take them to the mall yourself? Right. And like, they probably don't want to be near you. So be 15 feet back <laughs> and then drive them safely home. Well, I think because they had a dinner. <laughs> I don't care what they had. Anything. My child is not taking an Uber by herself till she's at least 18. Or maybe that, maybe I'm too dramatic. I no. have I have a young daughter, but like I don't know. No. I can't imagine that. I don't. I barely take Ubers by myself because they scare me. I don't like seeing them alone. Well, like thinking of like even like public transport too. Like the fact that you're giving these girls cash money, yeah, to get to from point A to point B, yeah, and to buy stuff and to buy stuff. Bring back and it's them. like yeah, yeah, it's like that's not very safe on the parents' part. I think it's sweet for her to try to do something for her being heartbroken around Valentine's Day. You know what else could have been cute? What? Like a little Valentine's Day with her, her, her daughter and her friends at home. Yeah. Like have, yeah. get some takeout, get well, like some Like I said, like, take activities. them to the mall or drop them off the mall and then come back and pick them up. Exactly. I used to go to the mall by myself around this age, but my same. parents would drop us off, pick us up. Yeah, same. 
Although the world has changed a lot since then, so I don't know. I know. Now I'm, I'm like, would I let my kid do that? Yeah, I don't, I don't think know, I especially would. not in LA. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, there was one year where um, I had a breakup with a guy like right before prom, and God, my parents felt so bad for me, and I sprained my ankle. I was on crutches. It was just like, a bad time <laughs> in my life. Did you go to prom? Uh, yeah, I did um, with a different guy, but it was a rough night. Were you on crutches all night? No, I actually... The crutches were just like on their way out by the time prom came. Oh, so okay. I was able to hobble without the crutches. <laughs> um, but I remember my parents. Oh, and it was on my. Oh, yeah, I fucked up my ankle on my birthday. Oh, it was the worst day ever. Worst birthday ever. But my parents, um, I remember we like had like a little family dinner and they were we just like spent family time. And I don't know. I think it's sweet to want to do something for your child and to like take their heartbreak, their heartbreak seriously because it yeah. does. It especially hurts at that age. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do think this is strange. I'll say that. I don't I don't I don't know why the the brother is getting all weird about it. It's kind of strange. And yeah, you aren't sending a twelve year old to the mall. I'm not gonna lie, these kids sound a little spoiled. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't get that. Well, I don't, I don't know if she's an asshole. I think she should uh look more into Uber safety. Yeah. She should have just picked them up. She should have just picked but them up. But that's not even what she was asking. <laughs> We're going off cusp now. I don't think she's an asshole. If we're asking, if we're going specifically for her question, I don't think she's an asshole for doing something for her daughter that she didn't do for his son, for her son when that happened years ago and he was 12. Yeah, that's a different age between 12 and 15. All right, so case closed, not an asshole, but nope. also kind of dumb. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> All right, am I the asshole for sending my girlfriend too many Valentine's Day flowers? and making her sister's husbands look bad. (laughs) To explain where I'm coming from, I need to establish two things. One, I have a high-paying job that often requires I drop everything to travel without notice. It's infuriating at times, but I get paid well, so I've learned to live with it. A little flex. Yeah, (laughs) right. Gotta have a little flex before you drop all this. Number two, my girlfriend loves flowers more than anything. I get it. Most girls love flowers, but they are her favorite thing in the world. Okay. <laughs> she literally makes me stop the car when we're driving just so she can take pictures of pretty flowers. Girl loves her flowers. She loves flowers, okay? She lives and breathes flowers. Early in our relationship, I had to miss something important without notice. To make up for it, I sent her three dozen roses. Jeez. Damn, Big that's flex. nice. Wow. She loved it. Oh, I'd be so mad. Mm-hmm. I get kind of mad when Josh gets me flowers. Not mad. Not mad. Okay, I take that back. But I'm always like, I think flowers are so wasteful. <laughs> Unless I'd rather like a, you get me a potted plant that like gonna is going to continue to live. A plant, yes. yeah. But like getting just like a yeah. bouquet of roses, I'm like. Mm. Josh still does get me flowers and I do appreciate it. I didn't mean it that way. I'm sure I'll get flowers today. Anyway, she loved it and probably as a joke told me I had set the bar and I had better send her three dozen roses or I was going to let her down. We've been together three years since, and I have always sent three dozen roses whenever we would be apart. It's a tradition, and we both love it. On to the dilemma. Girlfriend got bad news about a family member's health and headed back to her hometown a couple weeks ago, and I couldn't join. Her two sisters came back as well with their husbands. Valentine's Day came around, and although it wasn't my fault we weren't together, I ordered a gift of three dozen roses and candy and a stuffed animal. Wow. Day up, I got an alert from FedEx of a delayed shipment and panicked. It broke my heart to think that she wouldn't get any flowers that day. So I called around to local florists and found one who could deliver them for a fee. I sent another gift, a pack of three dozen roses. Turns out FedEx managed to deliver the original package. Girlfriend ended up with six dozen roses, two cards, two boxes of chocolates, and a teddy bear. Homegirl made out well. <laughs> She joked that I had now raised the bar and she expected no less than six ro- six dozen roses every time we were apart. And all jokes aside, I could tell she really appreciate the, appreciated the trouble that I went through. The next day, I heard from sister's husbands. They were furious, in all caps, furious with me, saying I made them both look awful. Turns out, one bought his wife a leftover bouquet of half-dead tulips. <laughs> and the other didn't get his wife anything at all. I guess they were both going to use the commotion as an excuse. Oh, like the family member, yeah, the tragedy that's going on. My girlfriend ended up sharing. <laughs> they were going to use it as an excuse. Okay. 
My girlfriend ended up sharing her roses with both of her sisters so they could all feel special, but it was clear they were all from me. My instinct was to take a victory lap, but girlfriend's mom and dad called and explained why they thought I should apologize. While they appreciate me always making romantic gestures and I can afford to do so. We get it. (laughs) (laughs) While their other daughter's husbands can't. They see where things are going and assume we'll be all family soon. And it would be a good idea for me to make peace with the other two. And that's true in a sense. That didn't really mean anything to do with their detriment. But I also never expected them to be such shitty partners that they thought it'd be okay to not even bring their wives flowers on Valentine's Day. But maybe I'm wrong for holding them to the standard that I've set for my own relationship. This guy thinks very highly of himself. Yeah, this man, yeah. Well, well, well. I don't what think do we pay think? for it. I don't think he's the asshole, asshole for that, but I think that the way he holds himself to such yeah. this high... The post mm. itself is an asshole. It's, yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I mean, I don't think it's it's like your own relationship. You shouldn't have to like dull down your own gifts and your own love because other people aren't doing things. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I understand mean, there's like this family issue going on. This family. What was it? A death in the family or something? Uh, health. Uh, someone, okay. Someone had like bad news health wise. Yeah. But also like, I mean, that's their little tradition. And, yeah. Like, who like who are the brother in laws yeah. to say that they can't. He can't do that. Right. And it was an accident that he sent more than what was the tradition. Right. Like, and that was just because of a fluke in the delivery. Like, that's not necessarily his fault. I mean. Okay, but th- three doesn't, I could get it. That's her thing. But like, if her family's going through something, it's not, it yeah. wasn't on Valentine's Day. Like, he just sent them because they weren't together. Oh, that right. Day. You're right. You're right. Like, they said. Well, he said, but it was they around- didn't bring their val- flowers on Valentine's Day. It must have been around Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah, I just I mean, it's it's a huge gesture and I'm sure for her it felt I mean, it's amazing having someone care for you that much. And you remember these little things and I'm sure the sisters didn't feel, you know, yeah. didn't feel great about it. But like, that's not but they shouldn't fault. be mad at him for that. Right. And I think it's strange. In my opinion, I think if you're in a situation like this, you could be like, oh, God, dude, really? Like, it's annoying. Yeah. And I can see how they would be like. You made us look like assholes, but like to to be, bring that up and then to make mommy and daddy give him a call <laughs> yeah. and be like, you need Don't to tone do it th- down. Yeah, you need to apologize. Yeah, yeah, that's so ridiculous. Yeah, no, and like I, I'm sure with the other two, like with the husbands, I'm sure they've been part of the family for a long time, and like yeah. I'm sure the parents just don't want any like beef, yeah. but it's like also. No, it's like Pick it's not battles. his fault. It's this not his fault. Stupid. Yeah, it's not his fault. He I mean, just be annoying in their mind. You know what I mean? Like he may just be have to be that. Person yeah, maybe he's him. like done other things. By the way, he's talking. Maybe he's got this whole like show off. Yeah, I, I don't know. know. Well, I can say for certain that I personally think he's not an asshole in this situation for right. doing this. Yeah. But I who mm-hmm. knows about the rest of his character, right? Yeah, I think that his brother in laws, uh, future bro- whatever, the brother in laws, her brother in laws are little baby baby bitches for 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 yeah putting that out on it. him yeah yep. it's like well maybe yep. maybe i mean it was valentine's day maybe you should have got your wife more than a, a dead pack of tulips you know what i mean yeah 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 i would agree all right final verdict i no, say that's... not the asshole brothers are baby back bitches case closed case yep. closed am i the asshole for ruining valentine's day oh no last night me and my boyfriend shared our fifth valentine's day together we've had our ups and downs of course but we worked through them mostly so we were on our way home from a nice dinner and a few errands he brings up that he wants us to go out of town on sunday it's his day off i told him sunday would probably be a bad day to go because of our dog i suggested that since he has two jobs he can take pto and we can go then in a couple of weeks and of course since he took a day off this week to hang out with some friends that he could do that is what I'm guessing she's saying. And then she writes a little conversation. So maybe we read it back and forth. Who wants to be the man? You can be the man. Okay. Okay. Here's their conversation. We will now act it out for you. Mm-hmm. Well, the schedule's already made out for the last two weeks. Well, I mean, the weekday job, since you have a PTO at that one, and it's probably easier to take off at that job. <laughs> mm, I don't really want to. Why not? You did it earlier this week. LOL. Well, I need days because what if your knee gets hurt again or something? (laughs) Well, 
Even if I heard it later this week, you already took a day. So you wouldn't be able to. Um, I'd call out. So if I hurt my knee while you're at work, <laughs> would you leave early to come home? Ah. <laughs> but if I'm already home, I can't just wait for you to get there and I have a ride to the hospital. What? <laughs> so I'm sure you leaving work early wouldn't help anything. Uh, I could be there for you, babe. But you weren't hardly there for me when I was pretty much bedridden the last three months and actually did hurt my knee. And you took the day off to hang out with friends. Why not take it with me? Uh, can we not do this today? Well, I'm just saying. That was the exchange in the car. <laughs> the rest of the drive was silent. So I'm curious if that was an actual exchange. He said, LOL. <laughs> he said, LOL. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we got home. We barely talked either. I tried to talk to him, but he was only mad at me for ruining Valentine's Day. When I'm upset, he treats me like I don't matter and his friends matter more. He has done this a few times before as well. It makes me feel like he doesn't want to have full days with me anymore. And when we only hang out after work, when we are both tired and I'm usually in pain, <laughs> am I the asshole? Am I the asshole that I don't see what the problem is? <laughs> I'm so confused. After all of that, it was one of the longest moments ever had. I barely understand what's going on. I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand what she's asking. <laughs> um, well, she well, he wanted to go out of town on Sunday, and she <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said that she wanted him to. They wanted to plan it, or like she needed to plan it because of the dog. She wanted to go out in a and she weeks. might hurt her knee again. <laughs> she might. <laughs> I don't know where the knee thing came in. Sorry about your knee. I don't mean to make fun of you. Knee, knee shit sucks. Knee shit sucks. Like make, then she just gets pissed that he won't take PTO because he took for them to go <laughs> somewhere. Because he took PTO later this on. week. He took PTO this week for his friends. But what if she hurts her knee? <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand. So it's more so, is she the asshole for bringing up or for saying that she doesn't want to go on Sunday and that <laughs> I don't know. I'm just the biggest problem here is why are you saying LOL when you're talking out loud in a car? <laughs> okay, well, um I don't know what to say for this one. I think I, I don't think the jury needs to, needs to decide. Yeah, for this one. We'll throw this one out to you guys. Maybe someone else understands it better. God, that was that was brutal. brutal. Yeah, like, <laughs> From what I'm gathering, neither are assholes. <laughs> one of them um, has pain and the other one cannot take time off of work. Yeah, I don't know. LOL. LOL. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's just move on on that one. I don't, I don't feel comfortable making a decision on it. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if this one is Valentine's Day related, but we wanted to, to read it anyway. It's a romance issue, okay? Am I the asshole for telling him about his bad breath? Oh, boy. I, 26-year-old female, have been talking to 26-year-old male for two months, not exclusively. He has some red flags, but for the most part, he has a stable job and seems to have his shit together. Oh, girl. This sounds like me. This is, maybe you need to run. And he's got bad breath. He's dismissive to my ideas, and he blames it on womanhood. Ooh. Big red flag there. And yes, I found out he listens to Kevin Samuels and all that trash. Who's Kevin Samuels? I'm going to look that up right now. Yeah, let's, let's do a little research here. Kevin Samuels. I've never heard that one. Um, so at one point he said, if you made it to 35 and are unmarried... You are a leftover woman. Oh, my God. Ooh. All right. Um, ladies, understand something that when a man asks you on a date, he's asking you to have sex. If you don't want to have sex with him, you should not go on that date with him. <clears throat> okay. All right. That's all I need to know. If a woman decides to go on a date with any man after the hours of 5 p.m., sex should be on the menu. <clears throat> oh, my God. Okay, Kevin. All right. Rest in peace, but... <laughs> but Bro, what the fuck? Women like you die alone, straight up, because you think you're better than the men that you qualify for. And the only reason, honestly, ma'am, that I can see a woman like yourself really thinking you deserve more is because you mm. earn more money than most people around you in North Carolina. No, no. High value men do not care about your money. Not the kind of men that you want. Um, we don't care about your money. It ain't ours. We care about the fact that you are older and you got kids and average in looks. Oh, okay. All right. I know everything I need to know Ooh, about him. I get God. the vibe. Anyone who says high value men, that's all we need An to. average woman. Yeah. An average value woman. Okay, well, let's recap our yeah. situation here. 
26 year old female talking to 26 year old male for two months, not exclusively. He has red flags, but for the most part, a stable job and seems to have a shit together. He is dismissive to her ideas, blames it on womanhood and found out he listens to Kevin Samuels and all that trash. I work a six figure job and he likes that. But at every opportunity, he calls me out for it. Mm. What ticked me off. So I had to go to his hometown three hours away for my friend's wedding. I wasn't a bridesmaid and he booked the hotel and cash apped me $200 for lunch the day I was traveling. Fine. We agreed that he'd come over and depending on the vibe, he'd stay over or go home. $200 for lunch. That's a nice lunch. Getting lobster. lobster. But I told him to walk with his toothbrush and an extra pair of underwear clothes in case because he lived 45 minutes away from the hotel. So I got off work and he went home and claimed to ha- he had a shower and then he had to go to his second job for like about two hours for a meeting. Then he came to the hotel. When he came to the hotel, immediately I noticed he didn't wash his hands even before he ate some chips. Mm. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> I brushed it off. Then I noticed that he took his shirt off and sat on the bed and he had another shirt under. I kept silent. Mm. Tell me why he leaned in to kiss me and his breath smelled like something died in there. <laughs> it burned my eyes even. <laughs> I wanted to throw up. I leaned away and I said, let's watch some TV. So while we were sitting there watching TV, he tries to get closer to me again and tried to speak. It was deathly from a small distance. I suggested a shower, hoping he would brush his teeth. He said, I showered before I went to my meeting. Mm-hmm. And that was only two or three hours ago. We had takeout pizza for dinner. And I finally caved and told him in a kind of joking way that his breath was a bit bad. He got upset and told me he's human and not perfect. I shouldn't expect him to be perfect all the time. I should allow people to be human. And this is not just all day breath or food breath. This is something died in your stomach. And now I'm smelling it. (laughs) By the way, I'm an RN. (laughs) So she can diagnose this. (laughs) This repulsed me so much. He said he went on to say... He didn't bring his toothbrush because he forgot and he didn't bring a change of clothes or a new shirt because he knew he wouldn't need to shower again because he already showered two hours before. He basically tried to tear me down for calling him out on his dragon breath and I asked him to leave. I sent him back his money and he told me I'm sabotaging myself because he had great plans for me Mm. and he's a great man, etc. Am I the asshole for telling him about his breath? I didn't talk about the other gross things like not showering or being sweaty, etc. (laughs) <laughs> mm, 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 mm. this man let's discuss Ooh. all right guys well, what do you think would you tell someone if they had bad breath i mean yes it, well if it was like really bad if it was yeah and like they were coming in for a kiss and like i kind of like winced a little bit you know what i mean like yep i think I'd, i don't think i'd be like hey your breath smells like ass but like i'd be like hey babe mm-hmm. like did you brush your teeth did you brush your teeth today like i get it like sometimes i don't like or just can you go brush your teeth This is hard for me to put an opinion on because I've been in a relationship for a long time. Almost. How long has it been? I can't keep track. Almost 15. Oh, we just had our 14 year. Oh, my God. I think we started dating in 2010. Oh, it'll be 14 years this August that we've been together. Anyway, I don't know if I would have done it at two months. Okay, that's fair. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. But like now I'll be like, oh, yeah, we keep like Listerine next to our bed, like the spray. Mm -hmm. And if either we like, you know kissing and either of us has a complaint about the breath we just hey hit the listerine yeah and it's never offensive you know but the way that he reacted was so he was so offended yeah he's mm, but mm, like mm. and it's funny because he's he's like an alpha male like and he forgot his toothbrush that's how would you i wasn't gonna brush at all like if you got told that your breast smelled i'd be a little embarrassed and then i'd go brush my teeth yeah and like, yeah, sometimes it is a little bit embarrassing, even at, yeah. as long as Josh and I have been together. Sometimes he'll tell me that. And I'm like, I'm I'm sorry. I, but I don't get mad. No, I wouldn't get mad. And I feel like, like bad. <laughs> what if you smell or like what if someone said you smelled? You're like, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> yeah, I've that happened like, to me one time and I will never forget it. Really? Really? How? Yeah, I was working from home one day and I just totally forgot to put the other on. And I think Jared came up to me and I don't know. He like gave me a hug. And he's like, did you put deodorant on? I was like, oh, my God. Okay, so back, oh. back then, like, I mean, we, me and my ex would definitely, like, be like, you're a little stinky. Like, yeah. we'd make jokes out of it, and, like, it'd be yeah. a cute thing. Right, right. 
I, I guess like two months into dating. Yeah, I was going to say, I think, Carly, you need to make the call on this since Ooh. you can relate to it most. I don't think she's an asshole for calling him on his bad, bad breath because if it was that, like, I, I get it. Like, I've never called anybody out on their bad breath like that mm -hmm. because I, I wouldn't want to be embarrassed. But what if it was straight, died in the stomach, dragon breath? I two wanna... months, like, not exclusively together. Would you continue to kiss and just, like... No, I would find every excuse to be like, mm, my mouth hurts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sorry, yeah. like... My stomach hurt. Oh, I just started my period. I'm so sorry. Like, I I can't. Mm, I'm oh getting God. on. I, I don't think she's an asshole for... Well, kind of, though, a little bit. Yeah. I think maybe... Well, I mean, she wasn't like, hey, your breath smells like ass. Like, go brush your teeth. It was <laughs> kind of just like... What did, she, what did she even tell him? Most review. Well, like, also, she could have used the pizza as, like, as as an excuse, too, like... Yeah. Or she could have been chips. like, she could have been like, hey, like, I'm, do you want to go brush your teeth together? <laughs> she said, I finally caved and I told him in a kind of joking way that his breath was a bit bad. And I think if you're joking about it, I feel like that's okay. I would be yeah. so embarrassed. So it's just two months. Like, if, but like, I mean, you want to nip it in the bud, right? And if you're like staying together in a hotel, I feel like you're at the point where like, yeah, you can say that kind of stuff. Maybe. I don't know. I've I mean, been out of the dating world for so long. I have no idea what I is mean, okay and what's not. I mean, going back to me, I don't actually, I'm being a hypocrite. I don't think I could tell the, tell somebody that yeah, their like, breath stinks. Yeah. I think she might be a little bit of an asshole for the way. Mm, I don't know. I can't, I can't decide. I mean, she's just being honest. So. It's just the fact that he listens to Kevin Samuels that just, <laughs> yeah. he's the asshole for that. I know. That's why I'm like, I'm like, I don't really trust anything <laughs> this man says because he's literally telling her that she's, that yeah. he had plans for her. As if she didn't have, her, he, she doesn't have her own life plans. I think it's strange. Like I'm curious more about this sentence. I work a six figure job as well, and he likes that, but at every opportunity calls me out for it. What does it, that even mean? He probably calls her out in the way where it's like you're too woman, like you're too much of a woman, like you're or like, like using like, yeah 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 like using like mm. she said he she said that he uses like her womanhood against her any any time that he can. Mm. So like using like I don't right. know, you know like, making little comments like your money isn't like because i mean that's according what that to said. according to kevin yes yeah. kevin thinks that you're a right human if you make more money than a man right 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 so mm. lame. i think you got a bag of ass just for listening to kevin sammy i think so yeah. too i think that all around i think that i think that you're making a good decision and telling him that he has a bad breath might have mm -hmm. been a little bit assholey but he's a, he's an even bigger asshole yeah. for taking such offense to it in the way that he did and kind of turning Seriously. it around Baby back bitch. I mean, you're really not a high value man, alpha dog, if yeah. you can't take a bad breath comment. Right. You say LOL. I'm going to go brush my teeth. LOL. Exactly. You say LOL. And he's even like, he's like, what did he say? He's like, well, I can't be perfect all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's red flags. Well, I think, I guess we keep like judging the whole rest of the situation here on just like their character. If we're just looking at this situation, I don't think she's an asshole for bring. If she was like, your breath fucking stinks, you <clears throat> nasty ass. Yes. Then that would be... <laughs> That'd be different. <laughs> That'd be different. I think casually bringing it up in a joking way when someone's trying to, like, make moves on you, like, you have every right. Exactly. Yeah. And, like, they ate and, like, he... You know what I mean? Like, there yeah. are reasons behind it. And y'all didn't it. even bring your toothbrush, dude. You Disgusting. were gonna brush your teeth in the morning. That's sick. Bring your damn toothbrush. Or you go down to Conoco and get one. Go get on Conoco. <laughs> All yeah. right. I well, think... I don't... I don't think she's the asshole, no. Okay. I kind of give her props, but I personally wouldn't be able to do it. So not the asshole. Not the asshole. Mm -hmm. Man. Asshole. Yeah. yeah. Red flags. Red flags. Maybe not full on asshole because we don't know the whole situation. Like but Kevin Samuel saying it's like. Ass dude, mouth. Ass anyone that mouth. listens to that man. <laughs> ass ears. The, yeah. yeah uh, red flags are, are waving in They're the waving. wind. They're waving in yeah. the wind. He's like that Tate guy. Yeah. He's, he's yeah, tater giving tot. Andrew Tater Tot. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Mm. Well, we'll have to see this Valentine's. If getting the happens. urge to go like brush my teeth. Me too. I was just thinking that like, too. I'm like, mm, I'm I gonna know. go brush my teeth right now. Does that actually ever work for anyone? Where you go, like that never does anything for me. I think you like know your own smell so much you can't smell it when you smell. Hey, Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> Will you smell my breath? No. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. It's been fun. I hope you all have a lovely Valentine's Day. No matter if you are in a relationship or not, you are, you loved. are loved and we love you. And Enjoy some dessert. Treat yourself. Yeah. Love yourself. To all the things. Love your friends. Your mm -hmm. friends deserve it. You mm -hmm. deserve it. Treat yourself maybe to some dipsy. 
Oh, yeah. And sushi. Sushi dipsy. Ooh, sushi and dipsy. Mm. I know what I'm doing Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. And Crowley, again, thank you for opening up about your story. Yeah. We love you so much. I love, love you. Too. You deserve so much better. I appreciate you guys a lot. And thank fuck you. Noel. Fuck we'll end on that Noel. road. On that note, <laughs> yeah. I should say. Noel was the name, right? Noel. Yep. Noel's Interesting the same. to come up with that. Yeah. Where'd that come from? My head. I thought it was oh. Noel. Noel. I did too. It's like Noel. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That was just the first letter. I mean, the first name that came to my head. I, I think Mole. I think, I think because of Pretty Little Liars. Mm. I don't know. That's. Yeah. Yeah. Right <laughs> call him John Tucker must die. Oh, I shouldn't call him John Tucker. Yeah. Or Tom Sandoval. Tom Sandoval. Ugh. Yeah. All right, guys. Anyway, it's been great. We'll be back next week. I must say next year. <laughs> Um, but until then, until the next sesh, keep keeping it fresh. Keep Why I need Janelle here because I never know the outro. We love you. Goodbye. Keep it fresh.